<laughs> welcome or welcome back to the Ball Don't Lie podcast. <laughs> yes, sir, Steve. That's, that's, so, that's so loud, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah. The, uh, the opening always scares the shit out of me for the videos. <laughs> I have to like play it to know how loud it is. <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> let's get into it. A lot of good stuff going on in the NBA. In the NBA. Can't let you guys see this. Mm-hmm. But we're going to start off with NFL. We're going to do our picks for, what is this, week nine. Yeah. But we and then we can go over um, yeah. our, our, our records. We'll all go right. over last week's records, and then we have a game. Player A versus player B. I'm going to give some stat lines to these guys. You're going to tell me who they'd rather have. And after that, I will tell them who the players are. And we'll see <laughs> if they made the right wanna, choice. Yeah. yeah. And um, we'll put up the winners for week eight. Yeah, let's you don't up. want us to like the dissect that and just say who we choose, right? Because yeah. I remember we messed it up last time no, it's just when we were fun, dissecting fun, these players. But just pick your player you want, like straight up. We could. We could dissect yeah. them after the fact. After Like, oh, I didn't know he was that good or he was that bad. So, what is it? All right, so looking at week eight. Yeah, let's tally mm. up the scores for week eight. Let's see. I'll run off this. I'll, re- I'll remember that. I'll remember the thing. What is it? Oh, my stat. I don't even remember who I voted for. Yeah, you highlighted you. I just know I voted for the Jets. And you won. They did. So, oh. for the Texans and Carolina. Carolina somehow won. We all got cooked. I'm so yeah. stupid. Dude, I, I did say that. last yeah. week it would be close. Best said if the if the team is gonna be, if it's gonna do it now. <laughs> um, Gabe and Hus got cooked on the Rams pick. Cowboys smacked them niggas. Yeah, that, was that was crazy. So that's all W's. You've done bad teams and used to good teams. The Rams aren't that bad though. Let me see your mic, Hus, real quick. Why he's not mm-hmm. picking it up? Is it working? Uh, uh yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, it looks like Blazers are going to win. They're up by four. Oh, mm. my God. 24 oh. seconds. Here's no. You never know. First pick for the Grizzlies. Didn't the Suns have like a 91% chance of winning the I don't even know if this is the year you want to have. I don't know who the number one prospect is. Let's see. Next was Vikings and Panthers. Oh, Packers. Yeah. Vikings won. Yeah, of course. Awesome. Unfortunately, we Vikings, yeah. we, you know, at what cost? We knew what was going to happen. happen. Why? That is at what cost. They what do you mean, why? What too, happened? Though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I forgot. Yeah. Season's over. Yeah, rest in peace. sucks, The offseason. That sucks. We'll see what the that rookies can do, bad, too. You're about to have to play him in fantasy, bro. <laughs> They're ro- our rookie. Oh. Because yeah. uh, P.J. Walker, <laughs> I don't think he's playing. Saints you know what time Colts. it is? Saints and Colts, the Saints <laughs> one. So he Hus- might be benched by halftime, but league tanking strategy. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Hussin, Hussin and Gabe cooked with the uh, Saints pick. Who do they beat? The uh, Colts. Oh, yeah. That game, no defense. <laughs> I don't know, bro. What was the score? Like 30 something to 28. Yeah, 38, 38 to 27. Yeah, there you go. That's crazy. So we had Dolphins and Pats. Everyone picked Dolphins. That was yeah. obvious. Easy, easy. I mean, throw these. And then Giants and Jets. Let's see. We all picked Jets except Isaac. Well, did he send you the picks right for now. this week? Did it? Nah, he didn't. That's why he's not here right now. We beat him up. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> Easy Jets one. The next one was Jags and Steelers. <laughs> and, the, yeah, we all chose Jags, too. Yeah. They look legit. Yeah, that's pretty easy. And then ATL, ATL and Titans. Oh. I think we all chose Falcons, right? Yeah, we did all chose the Falcons. We got cooked. So the next is Love Philly and teams. Washington. We all chose Philly. Barely won. <laughs> Sam Howell, serious. No problem, though. As best said multiple times, the kryptonite. <laughs> so his mic's still not working? Yeah. Might have to get a new mic, unfortunately. Sure. Or, I mean, Gabe could just bring his. Yeah. Wait, speaking of sure. Hello, hello. hello. Oh, my God. <laughs> God damn. I guess blowing on it does work. Try whoa, whoa. Hey, what? hey, yo. Hello? I like hey, the way you think. Yeah, blowing definitely works. <laughs> I like the way you think. All right, so next after that was Seahawks and... and uh, Oh, Browns. I was like, what is that? I couldn't even see. Seahawks, Seahawks and Browns. Yeah, Seahawks won. Isaac. All of us chose it. Game touched everyone everyone yeah. but Isaac. Oh, for real? Another everyone yeah, but Isaac? Fuck that nigga. Uh-huh. Lockett was cooking. I'm not even going to lie. Why are you saying fuck Jason? Nah, Because <laughs> he'd be taking targets away from DK. He's nice, bro. He <laughs> is good. The NFL He'll be there one. About that shit. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be there one. So after yeah. that was the Ravens. I'm I had the, I had the Kings. Oh, Ravens and Cardinals. I should have put the Grizzlies instead of the Kings. <laughs> nah. 
in my preseason. No one saw this. Ravens game, Cardinals was obvious. I knew one team of the top was gonna drop down, but I picked the Kings. Not one win. I think I picked the Grizzlies, and and I picked the Grizzlies to be lower because of the draft yeah. situation. Yeah, I, not I one win though. King, even though the Kings are missing De'Aaron Fox, so. Yeah, but 0-6 for the Grizzlies is crazy. I know this is big sidebar, but still. I yeah, mean, he's t- just stay on top. T- yeah, just, you can just finish tallying it up while we're yeah. talking. Yeah. Um, well, this is crazy. crazy. I mean, this Niners and Bengals game was pretty crazy. Who who chose who? Uh, I chose the ni- Niners. I think I chose Bengals. I definitely yeah, chose the Bengals. Gabe chose Niners. Gabe chose. Yeah, it's tough one for me. You, you Bengals? chose the Niners and you hate Brock Purdy? That's crazy. Well, I didn't think I'll lose two in a row nah, or three in a row, bad actually. Bad yeah, it's three. He's bad luck, man. But the Bengals are bad. <laughs> me? Yeah. Have you seen the memes like Joe Burrow after one month of playing shit and then they like... He puts on like a he did suit. That, he, did that last <laughs> he did that last year, yeah, I know. I don't know why. He just doesn't come ready to play hurt, season. Though, so. He just needs a few warm-up games, and then he's good to go. Let's see. Hmm. Lion. I mean, we all chose Chargers. We all chose Lions. They beat the Doodoo Bears and the Doodoo Raiders, respectfully. Yeah, and then it was KC. Didn't they, get, didn't they lose? They lost to Denver. They should not have lost, but they did. No, they yeah, definitely should have lost. They well, played like shit. Okay, bro. Before the game, good, obviously. So. Uh, it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 8, 8. Okay. 8, 8. Out of 15. It one, works, 12, but 3, 4, I think 5, you just might have to speak into six, seven, a little eight. bit. Or let me just try to more than usual. Well, not so usually not. Just uh, speak like yeah. into the front. All right. Yeah, that's good. You know what? You have to boost one, up two, the audio when I three, clip it. Because the audio is like five, on my bar, like really low. Yeah, I put seven, it almost eight, up, and then, eight, then the next one I drop it down. Boost your audio too, bro. <laughs> For that one, yeah. But I'm usually like me and Bez are like the loudest. You don't need a mic. You don't need a mic. I, I could turn these up, really but loud. then it would pick up background noise, so you guys don't have to talk like this. But it's also better quality when you talk like this. So. Yeah, it's way better like this, and I add noise reduction and I make it louder. It's way better like that. That's why I give you the stand, so you don't have to touch yeah. the mic the whole time. Because if you touch it, your arm just starts dropping. Like have you heard like the like I don't know if you've heard it when you're editing like plastic noise. I don't know how to describe it. Sometimes when we're touching it a little yeah, bit yeah. or these, bro, that that noise I'm like it's like a pet peeve now that I hear it a lot. Yeah, we we'll upgrade eventually. Yeah, it's gonna take time. Did you get the records done? Yeah, I just finished right now. All so right. all right, I Let's was go. ten and five. Uh huh. Bez was eleven and four. Let's go. Hassan was also ten and five. No. And Bez was also eleven and four. You mean Gabe? Gabe? That. Gabe, yeah. Gabe was 11-4. Oh, and, and then Isaac was 9-6. It was literally six. the, uh, what I game did we both pick? The Bengals was we Bengals, had. Yeah, and the Bengals, uh, yeah, that's the one. That's the one that changed. I mean, probably a few picks here. And I there. had one with Huston where we cooked. Which one did we the pick? The Saints, right? Yeah. Yeah, that one. Saints, Colts. W. Yeah, it evened out. But you picked, you probably picked the Bears or something. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I didn't fuck around that week. I didn't fuck around. What okay. did I pick? I know I got the KC. We got the KC what, one wrong. Yeah, we got the. What did this fool get that didn't get him the highest? Because we both picked the. Gabe? Yeah. What did he pick that? That, like, oh, I think it was the first matchup that me and Gabe. Uh, oh, he lost the Rams. I was with Huston on the Rams Vers- pick. That's versus, true. Versus who did they play? The Dak the Cowboys. Cowboys. Oh, okay. the, the, that's the one where it, oh, I almost had the I almost had the best. Week. Yeah, I mean they had. I, no I tied for backs. the best week. That's I'll fine. Perfect this week. I tied for the best week. It's okay. One day with somebody go perfect. I'll share first me. place. Me. I'll share first place. <laughs> I don't think no one will go perfect. If we do, right. should have placed a parlay that way. <laughs> All, All right. right is there any buys this week? I'm yeah, there is. Oh yeah, Niners. There's a bunch of buys, actually. Yeah. Jacksonville, Lions, too. Three, Lines four, are on by five, also. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And we I think four teams on by. Okay. All right. Let me see. Okie dokie. First right. one, week nine. Week well, nine. first of all, we can talk about Steelers, Titans played yesterday. Oh, yeah. Pickens Lo- wants Lo- out. Uh, oh, fuck Pickens. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't know the trade Pickens. deadline passed. Yeah. yeah so I'm wrong like, time okay. to do it. Yeah. I don't know why he said that. Wait, he said he wanted to get traded? Yeah. Free me. He deleted all the Steelers stuff and then That's said free me. Oh, team, my yeah. God. He's, he's so stupid. So stupid. His team yeah, won. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> you see, he was like, Deontay Johnson scored his first touchdown in like over a year. And you can see like Pickens is just on the bench like this after he scored a touchdown. It's crazy. Johnson. It's like smiling. That's crazy. Yeah. Now Good. Now player is more of the time to do it. The offense definitely sucks, but. You got to choose, pick and choose your times to act out. <laughs> pick and choose your times. Yeah. Pick it. That was probably their best yeah. game of the year, honestly. And shout out to Will Levis, though. It looks good. Yeah. He's Definitely first, a that, good player. That game last week was crazy. Well, the one not Thursday. Looks better honestly, Hill, so. He played pretty good really? yesterday, too. Of course, he looks better. <laughs> yeah, he was good, too, yesterday. I liked him. Dude, no, the head coach is a hater, though. He's trying to get fired. He said, I still have to see after, after the second game, like, on who's going to start. I guess it's like you know, just well, you trying to, to be respectful. Yeah. yeah, but be like not neut- be neutral in the time when he's like talking, right? But the way he said it too, like it wasn't like I like what Will Levis has done. <laughs> I want to, you know, I want to keep starting him. It was like, nah, we're gonna give the benefit of the doubt type thing. The way he said it, so we still got to see. It just, I'm sure Will Levis will start next week and when Tannehill comes back. But I just didn't like the tone, you know, yeah. the to- the tone the way he said it. Out. 
Yeah, but I get the respect factor. You know, he's he's been good for you guys. For them for four TDs is crazy. Like Steelers have the same record as the 49ers. It's crazy. The Steelers just find a way to teams. win, bro. Yeah. They're the, they're, that, they have a five and three record, right? Yeah. They do not look like five and three. Bro. They don't. They don't. Their defense is carrying them all year. Bro, they're like three and five. <laughs> it's crazy. That division is pretty uh, competitive. Browns, Steelers, Ravens. But somehow they're winning Bengals. games, and their defense is probably the main factor for it. So. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, we can get into right, week nine. Yeah, the earliest game is uh, a banger. That is the yeah, d- let's go to the Germany game. Nine. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, Rick Tofin in the stands. Out, but we'll see. <laughs> Rick Tofin. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it is. Uh, it's Dolphins at Chiefs. Yeah. It's in Frankfurt. So first time. No ever. real. Yeah. Is it first Germany game? First yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. So KC is favored by one and a half. Uh, who we got winning? This is a real toss-up. They're both in Germany. Both teams are playing super hot this year. Chiefs coming off a brutal L. Dolphins, they beat up uh, pretty badly on the bad teams, but they haven't had a signature win against a good team yet. This could be the week. So what are we thinking? I'm thinking it's going to be a good revenge game for Tyreek Hill. I think he's going to show up. I think at all the places to get a win as your underdog as for a good team, it's going to be in Germany where it's not like you know real Kansas City home game. Yeah. So if they're going to do it against a good team, they're going to do it this weekend. I'm going to pick the Dolphins. I am choosing the Kansas City Chiefs. Ooh. I think after last week, they Starting need to bounce back week. I say that for every team. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's good. That's <laughs> <a little> good. <laughs> Let's go, team. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Miami, it's more of so Miami not being able to beat the better teams. Like, they lost to the Bills. They lost to the Eagles. They can't uh, – usually they don't compete with good teams and they beat up on bad teams. And Kansas City is obviously a good team. So I think that uh, Kansas City will edge this one out and get a dub. Yeah, um, it's tough. This is a real toss-up. Um, I'm gonna go with the Dolphins. I think the Chiefs haven't looked too well this year. You know, they there's a lot of concerns. They just lost in Denver. I know it's a division game, and Denver played them. They already played twice. The first time it was close as well. I think it was 21 to nine. Um, Denver just couldn't get their offense going, but this game was a little different. And, yeah, I just have some concerns for the Chiefs. A lot of it is, you know, when they kind of lock up Travis Kelsey, uh, the opposing teams, none of the receivers have really stepped up for them. Rasheed Rice has shown some flashes, but I don't think he's there yet. And the offensive firepower of the Dolphins is just on another level. Um, The defense for the Chiefs has been good, but I don't know if they can keep up with the Dolphins. Um, They got Jalen Ramsey back last week. He got a pick. Uh, so they should be looking a lot better moving forward. I think this is the week they pick up their signature W of the season. And I got the Dolphins. W-W. Right. W-W. W-W.com. So I'm going to agree with Gabe and Bez. Um, I've yes, stated before that I'm not super high on KC this year. I think they are a little bit limited offensively when you have to rely on Mahomes and Kelsey. They're just doing pretty much all the work. They don't have a really good receiving core. Like all their young rec- – I mean, Rashi Rice is pretty good. He's showing, he's showing flashes, but it's like they have no real wide right receiver one that isn't Travis Kelsey. So I don't think that they have the same type of fire firepower that the Dolphins do, and I don't think that Mahomes is going to overcome that on his own, or Mahomes and Kelsey will overcome that on their own. Mahomes also just – he always does this, but this year more so than other years, he's thrown a lot of interceptable passes. I think – He's ranked 15th this year, interceptable passes, and uh, the previous years of his career, he was like bottom three in the league. So he's just taking more chances this year, probably because the receivers yeah, can't separate. Say, yeah, like, they don't have. So you just got to throw it up, but that's just, it's going to come with interceptions as well. So it's never been the dunk guy, too, where he'll just throw it to the flat and go for his short yardage stuff. Like yeah. He'll he only do that when he's play. like getting blitzed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's, yeah, he's trying to get the big ones. Yeah, but yeah. It's even either, when he scrambles too, like he's always yeah. trying to find the big play. He never yeah. tried to he's find trying to either find. No, like I mean, Kelsey almost is his like fucking check down, but Kelsey be 20 yards 15, down 20 yards. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Kelsey exactly. is pretty much check down. Just it's just yards. choice routes, and like he just settles down in the middle of the field, and then he's like, oh, Kelsey's open. Yeah, like, so yeah, I don't think that's gonna be truthfully enough because the Dolphins' defense hasn't been that bad this. I mean, it's actually been pretty good this year. So and they got Jalen Ramsey. And they, yeah, they just got Jalen Ramsey back. So. I think that they're going to go out and get a win against a good team. It's not like they even need Ramsey for one of their receivers. Though. Yeah. <laughs> Double team. Put him on Kelsey. Kelsey. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well put Xavier yeah, Howard yeah. and Jalen Ramsey yeah. on him. Um, do whatever you need to do. Yeah. What Should time be a good is it game. at? What time? Six, like 6.30. Six, six I'm definitely waking up. 
I haven't woke up for any. Well, I've woken up for like the second half of some of the games, but I'm gonna wake, wake up, up for, for the full game this I time. I have to wake up for yeah, that. Yeah, I might. Then. I might watch the full. Uh, Cause I've been watching the second half. So I'll be waking up at like eight. Uh, I watch them all. Right. Yeah, me too. Same thing. Yeah. Like the Ravens game, I saw the second half of that. Yeah, game. Like, but I might actually because this is probably gonna be a banger. So yeah, I might actually get up at six. There's a few. There's a few, a few more fantasy games. players in this game, so <laughs> I might need to check it out. Only have Kelsey, I think. I got Mahomes in one league, and I got. I just need Mosin. Tua in, in Dynasty, so oh. the QBs. Tua should do good. I need um, Mosin not to shit on me. We'll yeah, see. We'll see. It's a lot of relevant players. You might be playing against yeah. some players, too, so we'll see. Uh, next game, another good one. The Birds. Seahawks at Ravens. Baltimore is six-point favorites. The Ravens Damn. have looked really good this year at 6-2. and two. Seahawks also have looked pretty good at 5-2. and two. Who we got for this matchup in Baltimore? I think I'll start with this one. I think yeah. you know where I'm going. We do, I'm going to fuck about it. What was the, what was the spread? <laughs> Six points. That shit is ass. We about to kill these <laughs> niggas. I think that the Seahawks are just too nice. We got too good of a receiver core right now. I think that the Ravens aren't on these niggas' levels. Uh, I think. <laughs> right, Not just joking. I'll give some analysis. <laughs> but just straight glazing. Nah, I mean, okay, I do. Truthfully, I think the Ravens. You know, if they win, I'm not gonna be like, oh damn, like. Right. But I'm gonna ride with my niggas, so I'm gonna go with Seahawks. Yeah, Trouble just ended up winning by two points. I know. <laughs> oh, Damn. Six. I want six for the Grizzlies. Tough. Yep. 30 for Bain and Jackson. It wasn't enough. <laughs> we'll get into that later. But, yeah, I got the Baltimore Ravens winning this one. Um, I'm just hi- I'm super high on them as a team this year. Ball, uh, Lamar Jackson has looked really good. I think he's a prime candidate for MVP this season. He's shown ability to run like he has in the past. He's shown ability to pass. Now you gave him some weapons on the offensive side of the ball outside of Mark Andrews. You gave him. Zay Flowers who look really good. Odell can make some plays. Even Rashad Bateman last week. You know, he can't stay healthy, but when he's been on the field, he can make yeah. some plays. So their defense got a lot better um, this season just for the fact that they're able to stay healthy. Um, they have a good secondary. They're just a tough matchup all around. I think I'm going to go with the Ravens. I like what they're doing this year. Uh, I think they're going to be my Super Bowl pick as they were at the beginning of the year, and I just think they're on a roll. I like what I've seen from them. There's no reason for me to pick against them. I do like what the Seahawks have done, especially <laughs> offensively, but I just don't trust their defense as a whole. Their secondary is really good with their corner, Devon Witherspoon, and Did some it? of their safeties, but their pass rush is kind of non-existent, and that's kind of <laughs> where the concern's at. You can't rush Lamar. You can't pressure him. It, he's going to be able to do whatever he wants. As yeah. long as they stay home, you know, like not – like chase him out, you know, because if they try to chase him, he's just gonna run away. Yeah, yeah. like I don't he's even actually know been running they, less. This they gotta year. like more they just gotta passing. limit. I feel like when it comes to his running, they just have to limit his. Like, he's gonna run, but they yeah. have to limit the yardage. Like we'll see if they get behind him, he's just gonna start taking off. We'll see if the pass if the pass rush can generate any sort of pressure. You know, they could win this game, but I just they haven't done that so far. So I'm gonna go with the Ravens. Yeah, I'm also going with the Ravens. I think their run game has finally uh, come along with Gus Edwards. He's getting more carries. Yeah, he yeah, looks three better. Touchdowns last week. Yeah. Yeah, three last week. Yeah. 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 Jesus down. Christ. So uh, I think with that run game and the schemes that they can make with the uh, receivers that they have and Lamar playing at an MVP level, he's actually my front runner for MVP. I, like I think this team is uh, the best in the NFL. In my Yeah, them are the Eagles. So I think the Ravens are up I'll there. I'll give it to the Ravens. I'll give yeah, it to the Ravens. So I think they'll continue their hot streak. I think um, their defense has been uh, elite this year too. And they'll stop the Seahawks this Oh, 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 liars! I think it's one of the first times I chose against the Seahawks. So it's okay. There you go. They've been five and two. You would have been right yeah, we'll, we'll, most of the year. Yeah. So and gonna I'm gonna, gonna follow on what Bez and Hudson said. I'm gonna pick the Ravens as well. Yeah, we'll I really like what they're doing. And stand on business. <laughs> I don't think the Seahawks are business. gonna be able to get a win this week. Yeah. Respectfully. All right. Yeah, next we'll game should be one of the most exciting games of the week. Really. Clayton Toon versus no. the Browns. <laughs> Tyler's uh, question. He flew with them, so I, I don't he know. might show up. He's I don't gonna think watch. he's going to play, and the line indicates he's not because the Cleveland Browns are favored by 10 points. Yeah, and uh, that's knowing Deshaun Watson might play. Uh, no, he's he back. is playing. For yeah, and I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, I, I'm just, no, I, don't, I don't even know if I should play him over Jordan Love in fantasy. You know, in all seriousness, no, honestly, that is a good question. But in all seriousness, <laughs> like, uh, uh, you know how healthy he is. Yeah, I don't well, Jordan know. Love just sucks. He just hasn't looked. Yeah, Deshaun hasn't looked good either. So yeah, it's even not healthy, like, even yeah, healthy, he yeah. didn't look good. He had the best game of his uh, season before he got hurt against the Titans, and then when he got hurt, then he got hurt from there. Yeah, so. yeah facts. But he wasn't looking good before that yeah, game. Yeah. Uh, who want to start? I don't want to interrupt I, anybody. I'll go with the Browns. I, obviously, the Cardinals probably second worst team. They're top five and as the worst team in the NFL. So I think the Browns defense is uh, really good. I think Deshaun coming back. Hopefully, this is an easy one for him, and he's actually healthy. 
I'll put him over the top. So I think the Browns will get it done. Miles Garrett for Defensive Player of the Year. <laughs> I'll also go <laughs> with the Browns for the yeah. same reasons Huston said. Not really too much opinion for me. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with the Browns as well. One and seven Cardinals, especially if Clayton Toon starts. I haven't seen anything from him. Also, they're missing both of their running backs. Connor's still not back from IR, and Dee Mercado's out. So Ingram's uh, not bad though. So we'll see. I mean, you're, you're probably gonna yeah, stop running I mean, against that defense though. It's tough. Yeah, Good they're, gonna, they're gonna stop running in like the first quarter. <laughs> <laughs> Just I mean, yeah. he might get some checkdowns, but he's definitely not carrying the ball after that. So yeah, Hollywood, Hollywood, getting, Hollywood getting 45 targets. Yeah. yeah. I got to start his ass in fantasy this week, and I'm down bad. I'm not feeling good about Ooh. it. Keontae Ingram. Oh, for real? He's going to yeah. have all the work. Yeah, but I don't feel good about it. He's not that good, and they're playing the Browns. So yeah, they're just off work alone, you should produce yeah. some type of points. 18 carries for 40 yards coming in. <laughs> Fantastic. And then, like, five Four targets. points. That's five points right there. Five catches for five targets. <laughs> five five yeah. points yeah. is awful, bro. I nah, say check downs. Nah, yeah. for real. Yeah, I'm hoping it gets in the end zone or just, like, falls accidentally into the end zone. <laughs> uh, everyone pick Browns, though. Uh, yeah, I pick, I pick Browns, up, nah, because yeah. yeah, if they if they had Dobbs, you know, I might have taken a hot take, no, but I know, but I'm saying, like, you could justify a hot take, yeah. but it's like, I'm not going to do especially if Deshaun's coming back, they might have a, their offense hasn't even been that bad with him gone, there wasn't that good with Sean him there, Monday. but yeah, I feel like, um, yeah, it's just, Jerome Ford is looking great, Keanu you know. Okay, same with Kareem Hunt, he's been looking better each Pierre week. Strong's been okay, too, as yeah. a, like a yeah. third string. <laughs> Pretty good, honestly. So, yeah, I feel like the Browns are just – I mean, the, the cards are in a tank war, so we know what they're doing. Yeah. Speaking of Dobbs, how about the team that has him? Vikings <laughs> at Falcons. Benched. Falcons are three-and-a-half-point home favorites. Two QBs in this game that didn't start last week, so it's going to be interesting. Taylor Heineke starting for the Falcons. Yeah. Jaron Hall, rookie QB out of BYU. Played with Puka Nakua, so maybe he has that same you know <laughs> breakout potential. Um <laughs> We'll see, though. Way to set it up. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's really – I don't know. I don't That's know how copium. to call this game as a Vikings fan just because I don't know what to expect from our QB. Like, if he's somewhat competent, I think we can win this game off the strength of our offensive skill players and our defense looking a lot better in recent weeks. But I just don't really know what to expect from rookie QB Jaron Hall. Um, we do have Dobbs, but he got traded for like two days ago, so he's still learning the playbook. Um I'd be surprised if he plays this game, but I wouldn't be surprised if he plays next week. So both teams are four and four. Uh, it's a toss up, honestly, because it's not like Heineke you know, <laughs> is, is a, some world beater or something. No Drake London this game. Yeah, either. no Drake London either. I'm gonna go with the Vikings. Uh, just as if a wild card pick. Really don't know what to expect from our QB. That really is gonna depend. If he can just be a good game manager, I think we can win this game. Just because our offensive guys can get open, our coach does a good job of scheming players open. Even when we had Justin Jefferson, he gets open, even though he's double teamed every play. So yeah. I trust in the coaching staff. As long as the QB can make the right plays, just not make any mistakes, we'll see. I, I don't have any tape on him or anything like that, so I don't know. But I'm going to go with my Vikes to win this week in a quote-unquote upset victory. I'm also going <laughs> with the Vikings. Really? I yeah, will. he's going to have a breakout game like Will Levis. I love that. <laughs> hey. Hey, there you go. I like that. Nah, yeah, Will Levis, he looked real good. Yeah. He's I'm Will Levis. going with uh, the Falcons. I Whoa. think Taylor Heineke is a better quarterback in such close matchups. Better quarterback than yeah. We shall see. And, uh, the, the rookie. He's a rookie. Oh, yeah. and you, uh, what, what round was he? I don't even know his name. That's how bad <laughs> That's he is. what I'm saying. How do you know he's a better QB? Because I've Hall. seen Taylor Heineke play way more games, and he's actually but I'm a saying, seasoned he, veteran. Okay, but you don't know. that. Like He could be better, but you don't know if you haven't seen him. Yeah, play. you got to see him play. Okay, off yeah, of what I've seen, seen, I've seen Taylor the Heineke, no, I think he's good enough to I've win. seen the college when tape. When you just said there was no tape. He played with Puka. He played with Puka. He said it. What round pick was he? Like six or seven. Okay, that's all I What round pick was Brady? What round pick was Brock Purdy? Facts. Wow, Brock Facts. He's on Brock Purdy. Brock, Pur Brock Purdy lost three in a row. He won like 14 in a row, bro. We're not doing yeah, but this. Yeah, but he won, he won like Curry's not in a row. 17 or 17 in a row. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can throw it to Debo Samuel, CMC. No, you can't. Night. You cannot. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Well, well, maybe I can't. I can't. I'm nice. I'll be, I'll be like, hey, one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going with. Taylor Heineke this week. I think him so starting. You, you don't want to die on that hill, brother. Taylor Heineke. He's actually not bad. Arthur Smith. Yeah, I mean, shoot. Arthur <laughs> <laughs> Smith is a, is yeah, a, is a bigger the greatest right coach, now. But I think they have better. Nah, yeah. <laughs> better running back. Oh, of course. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, John. I wonder who B. John Robinson is. Yeah, but uh, I think Taylor Heineke. These two matchups are pretty close, and I think Taylor Heineke is better than the rookie. I've never seen him play. But Taylor Heineke, I have. And I'm going with him. So mm. I'm you like what yeah, you see with Taylor? Yeah. <laughs> That's why you saw what you see. <laughs> nah, yeah. I agree with Hudson. I'm going to go with ATO. Pretty divided. much for the same reason. Like I, I'm going to always err on the side of the veteran QB versus a rookie QB who hasn't played yet. Yeah. If he's played a couple games, you know, then obviously, like, maybe. But 
Yeah, he hasn't he hasn't played so far, so I'm gonna just have to go with the fair that the run game is stronger. Yeah, the Falcons defense did dog on Bryce Young, and he was the first pick as a rookie. That was his first game, so we'll see what he. Bryce Young also stinks. No, he doesn't. Nah. No, he doesn't. He's he was the first better. damn pick. He's all... Okay, who's better? Who's better? <laughs> AR or and Stroud or Bryce? Yeah, okay, there you go. That's okay, there's comparison. one more. Hold on. Um, AR. Anthony Richardson. Richardson, yeah. Jalen Hurts was second round pick. Jalen Hurts was second round pick. And this guy's a six rounder. So Brock Purdy was the last pick in the draft? Yeah. And he's playing with Kyle Shanahan in a better system. He's playing with Kevin he's playing O'Connell. Nice. He's nice. He's, he's playing with TJ Addison. Hawkinson. Also, Will Levis, Jordan Will Addison. Levis has had a better game than any of Will Levis was a second round pick. He had a better game that's, than that's that's the first pick. Got drafted. Well, bro, I'm telling you, I'm comparing the first pick to like not first pick players. Is the first pick have DeAndre Hopkins? <laughs> what? The first pick? What? He, Bryce Young has DeAndre Hopkins. Yes, Adam Thielen. Hey, <laughs> there you go. Yes, Adam Thielen. Hey, no, right? not Loki, though. No. Adam Thielen's playing better than Hopkins. Adam's decent. Adam, Adam's, Adam's, Adam's playing better than Hopkins. No, he's, he's a pro bowler. He's Adam Thielen's getting Hopkins right now. He's getting 14 five yard yeah. passes a game. <laughs> you favorite nah, screen, Justin. Farmer, you like that. Nah, he really is a yeah, He's a vet, bro. Just like Taylor Heineken. Exactly. So he should be on his. Falcons. That's fine. Yeah, we're going Falcons. I want to talk about NBA, so I want to run through these. Yeah, we, we can keep Some of these aren't even that yeah. interesting. Uh, this one, I don't know if it's that interesting. Buccaneers at Texans. Uh, uh, Houston is three-point home favorites. I'm going to just take this. I, I love C.J. Stroud. I love what the Texans are doing. I'm going to take them. Uh, the Bucks have looked bad this year, but lately not the greatest. I just don't trust their team as a whole. Their defense and offense are, have both been inconsistent this year. There have been games where the defense has looked really good. There's games where Baker and the offense has looked good. They just haven't been able to put it together for, like, consecutive <laughs> games, really. And the Texans, I just like their offense and their uh, th- the way C.J. Stroud is leading them. Their defense is improving also. Uh, I just see this team on an upward trajectory. I'm not sure if they'll win this week. You know, they're kind of still trying to figure things out. But just generally, I believe the Texans are going to be a good team th- uh, later on in the year and even next season. So I just see them improving with each coming weekend. So I'm going to pick them this week to be the Buccaneers. Well, I am going with the Buccaneers. I like how Baker Mayfield has played. The offense looks pretty competent. They have lost four straight, so I don't think they'll lose the fifth one. If that happens, they lost four out. straight. Yeah, they're, they they're started out. off really good, yeah, and then it was down bad. Lost to the Eagles and went downhill. I actually did. Now think Texans about it. Beautiful beautiful. Team. They just lost to the Panthers, which were the worst oh. team in the NFL. You said beautiful or beatable? Beautiful. I heard beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> they they have no run game. They need help in the run game. Yeah, no Damian Pierce. Damian Pierce is crazy. He's not even good running back. So. Yeah, well, I say he but might as well not be there. So. No help. Yeah, I mean, if he who's the backup? He's the best running back, Derek and he Singletary. and he was oh, not yeah. good. That's gonna that's tough, yeah. bro. So, uh, I have the Buccaneers winning this one. I believe. I, I think it's a toss up for me because I like the Buccaneers for the same reasons Bez was saying. There's some some there's some good aspects, some bad, but I mean they've been on a losing streak. I hope they break out of this, but I don't want to bet for them. I'm gonna bet against them. I'm picking the Texans this one too. I think they're gonna, especially if losing from the Panthers last week, they're gonna come back and win, the, beat the Buccaneers. In my opinion. Yeah. I'm going with the Buccaneers. Uh, I trust a lot in their offense right now. I know it's, like Hudson said, they lost a bunch, but their offensive pieces like um, Mike and Godwin, I feel like right now they're, um, the Texas defense isn't good enough to deal with them if they get that offense going. Yeah, I expect that they will because, like Hudson said, they've been fucking getting shit on. So, And I think the Buccaneers defense has generally, just over the course of time, has been like – either mid to good tier, you know, like, so I feel like they'll be able to contain the Texans offense enough for their, hopefully their offense, the Bucks offense to uh, be better. I could see this being a low scoring win. It could be. Yeah, it could be. Should have the over-unders. I had them on the, on the, on the online. Yeah, but it's okay. Next week we'll get them. Um, next game, this should be a quick one. Kind of, I don't know. I mean, maybe you could pick the other team, but Bears at Saints. <laughs> no Justin Fields this week. Let me keep that in mind because I would obviously feel differently too. But it's yeah, Tyler Badgett yeah, I mean, you know who pulled out a win against the Raiders, but they fired their head coach. Who, yeah, they yeah. Um, uh, yeah, Saints for me. Yeah, Sa- I mean, Saints I'm going to go Saints. They're eight-point yeah. home favorites. They looked really good last week. Their offense looked competent. They got – I mean, they got to get some of their big play players on the field. Like Shahid's getting big plays. Kamara's looking good. Michael Thomas makes crucial catches uh, throughout the game. Now. Yeah, Olave, yeah. I mean, he's so doing more off the field than on the field. He's a little preoccupied. <laughs> yeah, Carr stinks, but Chicago stinks worse, so. There you go. <laughs> I, I could see I could see a Bears potentially winning a game like this if they had fields, but without fields, hell no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
I agree completely. All their hopes are gone even without having at least Fields. <sighs> yeah, without without him, they to watch him win this game. Is bro, it? if that guy pulls off back to back wins, bro, I'm gonna bro, I'm fine. I don't fuck to me. Did you know he brings Honestly, out like too, sixty crazy. family members per game? Bro, it? It? Yeah, I would too if I was in my in my first debut. Fifty. Put everybody, bro, bring everybody. It was my first that's game, a big bro. Ass, that's Dude, a big this guy was like, yeah, yeah bring the whole city, contact. bro. Yeah. Yeah. Bring every. I have 50 I'm kidding, yeah. <laughs> 50 contacts. <laughs> I can bring a lot of people. You're not bringing 50 people. I can bring like. Bringing the I can whole bring country of Armenia, plus. bro. I can bring a solid 30 plus. If like, I'm a starter in the NFL, not, like I'm starting for one game, I'll bring like. Five to ten, dude. Last minute, I could bring like. 30 <laughs> I don't even know fifty sure. people. Like, how are you yeah, gonna bring fifty? 50, 50 yeah. I could bring thirty to get them members to get straight up. Like yeah, last I, I minute, believe like, him. I, I can get everybody come drop yeah. Thirty, I believe. Thirty, I believe. Thirty, I could bring like last crazy. minute. If I had more time, I could bring like fifty plus. Like but more like, time. I don't know thirty would people. You, that I would care about bringing yeah, to a game. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, no, but they all care about me. Therefore, they would come. That's why. Glazer, Mr. Popular, Mr. Popular over here. The only bad thing is if I pay like that's fine, bro. I'm in the NFL. Trying to ride your coattails. No, they don't make you pay for tickets. But I'm in the NFL. I'm making. I'm making NFL. All right, this is ridiculous. But I don't be like your whole check. Second stringer. How much do second stringers make? Like 300 k, three hundred fifty. What do they make? I could pay for fifty no, tickets. You, no, that's a lot. Fifty. That's like that's like that's a like third like of your paycheck. That's your. You yeah. think so? Then you get taxed. That's too. your definitely a whole game paycheck. Like if that every like that's like, fine. That's the get. That's the game I want to bring. So my you get family paid out. zero dollars for getting hit by <laughs> <laughs> Max Crosby. <laughs> And scoring zero points against the. If, if if I do if I do get hit, that's what it is. It is what it is. But I'm gonna get the support. I, that's me. Now he must be making them pay for the tickets. That, they're hey, down hey. thirty to twelve. They're like, that's yeah, not yeah. even. That's not even. The his bad game thing is, is like, if if I'm if I'm get, if I'm playing down bad horrendous and my fam, that's the bad part. When you, my family's there, yeah. and they <laughs> pan it over, dollars, you get zero dollars. Your whole family's Dude. there. You hey, threw four picks. Out, like, bro, my da- my dad is like this. Oh my god, he's a disgrace. He throws a jersey in the field. Fuck this kid. Don't even finish the game. You see him walking out before the game's over. Dad, where you going? That's my game check. Come back. <laughs> they have to be paid for that ticket. That's crazy. Yeah, no, uh, Fifty and sixty is insane. All right, well. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Good side. Let's keep, let's keep going. Yeah. Funny. No people would come out if there was an Armenian quarterback. Oh, for yeah, sure, hundred percent. Sure. Yeah, it's hundred percent. Um, Rams. At Packers, Green Bay's favored by three. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> Matt Stafford is not playing. <laughs> oh, we all, yeah. oh, that makes more sense. Yeah, so, I think. Uh, let me I go th- here. Yeah. I think Jordan Love's competent to be a Matt Stafford-less Rams. Otherwise, if Matt Stafford's playing, I'm picking the Rams easily, but I'm pretty sure he won't. He hasn't practiced all week. So, off of those reports, I'm going to assume he's not going to play, and the franchise quarterback, I don't know if they want to risk him, especially with a losing record. So, I think the Packers can win this game. I don't even know who the backup is. I think they just signed him off the practice squad a few days ago. So, yes, Denton Bennett hasn't played any games. Yeah, he's on IR, so he's... Yeah, for personal reasons, I think. Yeah, he's, like, going through a rehab or something. I don't know. Yeah. Um... But, yeah, I'm going to go with the Packers. I think, you know, really they have a lot of issues. It's not just one player. Like, Jordan Love hasn't been good, but neither have the receivers, neither have the defense, neither has the coach. Yeah. I mean, they just got to do something, bro. Like, stop calling screen plays for the, for, first, for the entire first <laughs> half. I think I was reading uh, or looking at a stat where their dot, which is their average depth of target, which means how far does the QB throw the ball down the field? The Packers – is the lowest in the NFL for the first half by a wide margin. I don't know why they're calling <laughs> these screen plays like A.J. Dillon one-yard handoffs in the first half, and then the second half we're like, you know, Jordan Love will let you loose a little bit. Like, I know he, he makes bad, mistakes. Bro. He makes mistakes for sure. He still has to see the field better, but you're not going to make him any better by, like, locking him into these, like, screen passes. Like, your team's just going to suffer overall. Having no Aaron Jones is hurt, hurting you too. He might be back this week. Yeah, I'm going to pick the Packers. He's ready to go this week, so that's why I'll go with the Packers. If Aaron Jones is fully 100% healthy, take a big workload against this team. Um, yeah, I think the Packers will take this one. I think I want them to lose every game. I think they're pretty bad. I want them to get a, another quarterback and fire uh, LaFleur. They start over the culture as, as new, but we'll see. I hope, hopefully the Rams win, but I'll go with the Packers. I'll go with the Packers too. Who's the uh, backup quarterback? For no idea. I honestly have no idea. He's a no he's a generator player. He just got signed. <laughs> <laughs> I think like Walford or something. Nah, if it was if it was oh, like no, a reputable. A you have a rookie that's a second year. Oh wait, no, mm. I'm talking about the Packers. Yeah. <laughs> if they had a reputable quarterback, I'll go with the Rams because I think they're just a much better team. But yeah, for sure. I, if I they mean, had, like, actually, Ma- Andy Dalton, I would pick them. Too. Have Cooper Cup. Yeah, we'll see. Though. I mean, honestly, dude, like going against Aaron Donald and stuff, I feel like Jordan Love might be in hell. If they could, if he gets pressured 
too much. Like I don't. It's like, what are they really gonna do yeah. about it's it? Like I don't see the other QB doing anything either. Yeah, that's why it's just it's a toss up when it comes to the QB. But I'm gonna go hot take. I'm gonna go hot take. I'm going hot take. Not the worst. I think Sean McVay can. What if he's just a demon? This guy comes out and is like lasers to Puka and like Cooper. We're like, what the fuck are we doing? If Kyle Shanahan can do it for Brock Purdy, Sean McVay. Oh my god! No, I'm not. I'm not even discussing none of this. We're not even gonna. Why are you trying to? Why are you trying to jab, bro? Why are you trying to bait? Niggas on by right now. Yeah. Get him off your mind, buddy. Yeah. Rep oh, free. Go, go hey, Brock is yeah. rep free in his head. Oh, God. <laughs> let's, keep, let's keep it pushing, right. yo. Dude, he, he's been so gassed up ever since his three-week losing stretch because yeah. right before he's like, hey, I can't Brock wait till Brock Purdy wins his game. My bad. My bad. 17-3. and three, My bad. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't, be, couldn't be your yeah, favorite quarterback, yeah, cousin. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what's Jordan Love's record? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I want to play quarterback for my team, so. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want him there? <laughs> I'm not a supporter. <laughs> yeah, he said doesn't know me. Like, he's like, he said not my quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, he got to say that about the coach, the receivers, the D line, like the whole team yeah. might not be the future, bro. Nah, that's uh, crazy. All right, all right next. next game. Oh, I mean, whatever. Commanders at Patriots. Real ugly <laughs> game, but yeah, New England is favored. They're coming off a good dub, right? Last week they won. No, they, they, they lost. lost. They lost to Miami. They lost to Miami, but they beat, beat the, the Bills. Bills. The previous yeah. heavy week. underdogs. Big do- yeah. The big dub for them. Big dog. Uh, they look better last week, though. Um, Battle of the mid. Commanders also look good last week, though. Yeah, their defense stinks, and yeah. they traded their two best pass rushers. Yeah. Patriots lost Kendrick Bourne, dude. I almost started crying. Yeah. He was carrying me. No, he wasn't carrying me, but he was cooking. Oh, Chase? I, I, there's no way Kendrick Bourne was carrying me. Nah, he was, he was cooking, though. You, might, you must be 0-12. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I, play- I was playing him in Dynasty, man. He was putting in work. Yeah, he was yeah. decent, but yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't consider that a loss. It's not like any of those receivers get looks consistently. No, he, I mean, that's yeah. that's why, like, he was starting to, like the past few weeks, he was getting like damn near ten targets a game. Like, he was starting to become, he was starting to solidify himself as the wide receiver one on that team, and then he got, and then he tore his ACL. Yeah. So, <laughs> I can see that. I can still see the Patriots winning. How much is the Patriots? Because them okay. switching or uh, trading Montez Sweat and Chase Young has oh, to hurt the, the that, yeah, yeah the defense and the morale of the team, like. Are we trying to win now or not? Like people now that people know now that they're trying to tank. It seems like because <laughs> you're training your two best defensive players. Like what yeah. are you? What's going on here? So I think the New England Patriots will build off that momentum and uh, will win that game. I also agree with us, and I'm picking the Patriots this week. I picking the Patriots too, but I could see the Commies winning this one. I don't have a <laughs> lot of faith in the New England's offense, to be honest. Mac Jones. Like I could see him imploding at any in any game this season. Like it's, it wouldn't <laughs> surprise me if like he has one of those stinkers again, and they just yeah. you know yeah. can't move the ball. So I'm super hesitant to pick them because of that fact. I don't that I don't trust you know although they look better previous in the last few weeks, still can't trust it. But I'm gonna go with them this week just because you know trading the two best defenders on a team whose defense already sucks. Yeah, good good luck, buddy. <laughs> Who you got? Honestly. To go, I'm gonna have to go against the grain this time again because I think the Commanders, their offense has been looking pretty good this year. I think Sam Howell has, uh, he's not, you know, he's not like I'm not gonna say he's a, an elite QB, but he's been playing really well. You gotta realize it's second year, like up yeah. and downs are gonna happen for first year. Back few weeks. Well, first, first year playing, playing yeah. yeah. So I think technically, that, um, he's technically bro, does right not say this for Brock. Yeah, did you hear what he just said for Sam Howell, by the way? He played last year though. That like Brock said, like, did you already just said Wait, we have up and downs He's for Sam Howell. Oh. He would not say any of this for Brock. He's at on all. the Commanders. Yeah. Yeah. Say, bro. But Brock put on the Commanders. See what he does, bro. Better. He does better. No, hell He's better. no. Hell no. He's not better than commander. Sam Howell. No, I don't know. You're talking about comparing to Sam Howell, right? More yeah, like, well, I'm just saying. He's better like, than Sam Howell. Up and down. I don't even know if I'd say that. I yet. think it's a system. It's a different system. He is so. better, but like I don't know if Sam Howell's. That much worse just because he's in an awful situation. Like Sam Justin Howell's Fields, been playing, he's been playing really good this he's year. He's been playing good. It's like Justin Fields. You can say he's bad because of the situation. We know he's bad because of the situation. It's not just a situation. Bird, if you put Purdy in that yeah, situation, it's not just a situation because he'd be ch- he'd be doing dumb shit. Still. Okay, but yeah, Purdy obviously you're, you're more inclined to do that type of stuff if you're in a bad situation. Like if you're getting rushed like 20 times. Nah, I don't like, care how bad my situation yeah. is. I'm not throwing a pick to the other team. What's his name at Trent Williams blocking for him? He'd make better decisions. I don't. I don't. I don't always say that. No. I, mean, I if think you have yes. those type of players, you'd be better. I agree, but I don't think that would mean I don't think he'd be better than Brock in this situation. I do. Justin Fields, I hundred percent think he's just will. a. Well, we gotta stop yeah, talking yeah, about 49ers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just he they, thinks they Brock Purdy like I could grab your dad and go play <laughs> yeah. for the 49ers. Like do the same <laughs> shit. Like it's just this respect I mean, is ridiculous at this point. So, I mean. but yeah, so I think the commies. Uh, I think the defense is already ass. So I think that we already know what we're gonna get from them, even if we lose. Even if they lose, I don't say we. Even if they lose two of their best defenders, they sucked anyway. 
well, not, not the players, but their defense sucked yeah. anyway. So I think that when it comes to the Pats, their offense has been very pedestrian, and they just lost, like I said, their potential wide receiver one. Demario Douglas has been looking really good yeah. lately, so I think that's the only bright spot. But I don't think – he's like a 5'8 slot receiver. He's not – they can't feed him 52 targets and expect to win the game, you know. Like, yeah. So I don't think that – um the Pats are going to move the ball too much, even with against a bad defense. And I think the commander's offense is better, so I'm going to have to go with the commies. All right, next game, Colts at Panthers. Uh, Colts are favored by two and a half. This is actually interesting because uh, the Panthers are coming off a first win of the season. Bryce Young has looked good at times this year. I think sometimes he's made some bad plays, but a lot, you know, he has shown flashes. So there's definitely something there. Um, and the team as a whole is just not good. Colts. QB is worse, but the team as a whole is better. So, what are you guys doing? Uh, I'm going to let you guys take this one first because I still don't know where I'm going to go with this. Colts, Colts look like a better yeah. team, have better defense. Their offense looks more competent. I think they'll win this week. And uh, Colts should be an easy one. But I'll choose the Panthers next week against the Bears. Give me the Colts. <laughs> Give explain. me the Colts this week Colts. as well. Yeah, I got the Colts too. I think, um, like I said, yeah, Josh Jones has been looking great. Minshew's doing really good at for – you know, a backup QB. Uh, Pittman is, he's, uh, we already know he's pretty good. So, yeah, this is a better team. Yeah, I think the Carolinas, I mean, they, they just think they finally got a win, but they just think at the end of the day. So, uh, I'm going to go with the Panthers, actually. I'm going to go with the Damn. upset here. Um, just because I think the Panthers need to win. They don't have their pick, so they are really incentivized <laughs> to try to win. Um, and I, I've slowly seen things start to get better. The real concern here for me is their running game is actually garbage. They have the worst running backs in the league. Yeah. That's not even a, comp- a question to me. Yeah, they're both <laughs> awful. Um, but the Colts have a very bad run defense. That's where they're vulnerable. So I think if there's any matchup where they can get off any type of run attack, it will be against this team. Um, not saying that they will. I'm just saying <laughs> it might be. It might look less ass than it has in weeks prior. And I think I've liked what I've seen from B- Bryce Young. I think he still needs to work on certain things, uh, especially in the pocket. You know, he's short, so it's harder for him to see over the, the, <laughs> the D-line. But he does a good job of reading the field and just making the right reads. You know, uh, I think he's going to continue to improve as the season goes along. The coaching will improve as well. I'm sure some of these receivers will start to make some sort of effort and show some sort of flashes. I'm going to go with the upset here. I think Panthers continue uh, the little win streak they got going. Yeah. <laughs> One game win streak. It's gonna be two. <laughs> streak nonetheless. <laughs> uh, you picked. You, you picked. Uh, yeah, Colts, yeah, we all right. picked Colts. You, you picked Colts. Colts as well. All right, next game: Giants at Raiders. Um, Daniel Jones is playing. Uh, Aiden O'Connell is starting for the Raiders. The Raiders fired Josh McDaniels a few days back. Um, so new coach, who is I believe their line current linebacker coach, is stepping in as their interim head coach. Already heard great things about him from several players. They look like they're in a much better position. <laughs> so um, because of that, I'm actually going to go with the Raiders. Um, so they are two-point favorites. Just you know, keep that in mind. Um, I just think the fact that they fired this head coach who was kind of an albatross on their team, it just seemed like nobody was a fan of him. And it's been known since last year. You know, they try to replace Derek Carr with Jimmy G, who's even worse. That's insane. Uh, like, he, he's not playable. That was the best decision ever. Yeah, and th- th- it's so bad. They're saying Aiden O'Connell gives us the best chance to win, and bro is a rookie. So, yeah, uh, um, yeah I'm going to go with the Raiders just for the fact of the vibes are good. Th- they fired their head coach, who's been inept um, for a long time. I think they're going to get Devontae Adams more involved. The run game is going to look a lot better. I hope not. I just feel like the whole team is just going to be, you know, this this weight has kind of been lifted off their shoulders. I don't want to make it seem like Josh Daniels like a horrible person or anything, but mm-hmm. in, in terms of football, on the field, X's and O's, he is very bad at that. So because of that, uh, I think Tom Brady kind of made him. I'm going to be real. When he was with the Broncos, he didn't have a winning record either. So, um, yeah, I just don't think he's he, – I, th- I just think he got carried by Tom Brady, to be honest. And it's been showing the last few years and the last few stops he's been to. So – uh, the fact that he's just not there and the Giants, they have a good coach too, but I don't really trust their offense as a whole. The defense has been playing better. I could definitely see him winning this game, but last week they didn't even pass, pass the ball in the second half. I know <laughs> Daniel Jones wasn't there, but Negative that's yards not good. passing, right, or something? Yeah, they, uh, they had negative four <laughs> yards passing in the second half. Oh, my God. I know DeVito was their QB, but if Daniel Jones gets hurt again, they don't have Tyrod because he's hurt now. Yeah. So Another rib injury. Yeah. Crazy. I'm going to go with the Raiders here, though. Yeah, I'm going with the Raiders too for everything. 
such good vibes firing the head coach. Devonta Adams said he's already going to run through a wall for this coach <laughs> already. So that means he's getting like 10 targets, or 14 <laughs> targets next game. I hope not, so man. he'll be uh, As long as they're okay. catchable, he'll be yeah. fine. The Giants are a beautiful team. So coming off of that, uh, the energy should be high. And uh, I'm going with the Raiders. Uh... I think I'm going go with the underdog, but I'm going to go with the Giants. I don't know why. I feel like, yeah, all the good things that you guys said about the Raiders, I feel like they're not going to happen. I don't. I feel like I feel like I don't know why. I feel like the Giants are going to come win. Daniel Jones is going to have a decent game. Saquon's going to do a good running game. I just it's think not Gi- crazy. I just think yeah. I just I have a feeling that the Giants are going to win. I can't tell you why exactly. I mean, but yeah, the team just fired their coach, so like they got a new coach in yeah. the system, so it might just be tough to implement week one. And I like Dable, so I'm going to go with him and Jones. Yeah, so it's not a crazy pick. What about you, Amari? I'm going with the Raiders. I've been liking what I've seen from the defense. Max Crosby is the realest thing in the league. (laughs) If the team was good, he'd also be in DPOY conversations. Yeah, he's been going crazy. (laughs) 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 When did he almost say that? (laughs) You didn't see it? I I saw the video. But yeah, I think the video then you would know. He didn't? Okay. (laughs) (laughs) I think people are stretching out. Yeah, reaching, reaching, heavy reaches. (laughs) The anyway. Giants are pretty ass. Um, I think Daniel Jones being back, I think he's going to be rusty. And I think him normally is not that good in the first place. So, I think <laughs> <Back>. <laughs> I think even though they do have a rookie QB on the Raiders side, I think, uh, you know, from what we've all been hearing, I'm praying that Tay doesn't light me up in fantasy. But, you know, I think that they'll have just a better game offensively overall. Yeah. And, yeah, so I yeah, think he's going to light me up Raiders. too, buddy. It's okay. That's Michael Myers too. He's very good. Yeah. They have a good, t- yeah. They have a good offensive team. They got Josh Jacobs, got the rushing champ I last year. Like, still good in my opinion. They just don't know how to use them. Facts. I agree with that. After that fumble, he knew it was never the same against the Cardinals. <laughs> after that catch, you remember that? Yeah, that's, that was away. awful. By yeah. the way, they had so many bad. Well, they had a good W that year too with the. Uh, was it Jacoby Myers who threw that lateral to oh, yeah, Chandler to Jones? Jones. Yeah. Now he's on the team, bro. <laughs> it's crazy. He knew what he was doing. Yeah, Chandler Jones not on the team though. That fool yeah. got CTE for real. Hopefully Prayers up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Prayers up. No, for real though, it's bad. Uh, the next two games, probably the games of the week. Uh, first game is a 1 p.m. game, and the last game is a night game. First game, divisional game, Cowboys at Eagles. Eagles are favored by three. I'm gonna go in on this one first. I'm gonna go with the Eagles, man. I like what they've been doing this season. Jalen Hurts kind of dealing with like a little knee injury, and you can kind of see it in terms of his scrambling. It hasn't affected his passing at all, which just goes to show you how much he's improved in that aspect where he doesn't even need to scramble and get out the pocket to be effective. Um, he's able to sling it downfield to A.J. Brown, who's had a historic start to the year. Devontae's inconsistent, but when they need him, he's reliable. Uh, DeAndre Swift has looked good ever since week one. So, you know, the, the Eagles are just rolling their defense has been susceptible, especially to the pass this year, but they have an elite rush defense. And I just don't know if Dak is going to be able to make more plays than Jalen Hurts. Um, I just think they're a better overall team. I'm high on the Eagles this year. I think the Cowboys, their defense, you know, after those first few weeks of the season, they've kind of slowed down a little bit, and it's going to be a tough task to stop Jalen Hurts in this offense. So I'm going to go with the Eagles. I wish I'll disagree with you. I think I will go with the Cowboys. I think uh, after that 49ers loss, the Cowboys realize what they have to do to win in order to make it to the Super Bowl this year, and that's their goal. Cut I think Dak. Dak Prescott, he's been playing better <laughs> okay. recent weeks. Every The Chargers win was yeah, a really that. good. The Chargers win is really good, and then the – who else they play uh, last week? Oh, the Rams. They destroy the Rams. C.D. Lamb's finally getting the targets that he needs, and they need to feed him in order to win. Uh, A.J. Brown is having a historic season. I just realized that he's on pace to be 2,000 yards as well with Tyree Kill, yeah, right. which is not yeah. – nobody's talking about. Yeah, which is crazy. So I, I think if they take away A.J. Brown from the equation, they'll look um, good enough to win. So I think uh, Michael Parsons has been having a really good season too. That defense is stout. And them knowing what they need to do to win and how important this win is for them uh, showcases that they'll win this week. So I have the Cowboys. Uh, I'm going to go with the Eagles um, for the reasons Bez said. Yeah, I don't think Nobody. Jalen's knee is going to be a problem in my opinion. You got Brown who's playing insane. If Hertz finds him and, you know, he's continued to have this success of what is the record? 125 plus yards. Yeah. He gets yeah, open. He's going to, he's going to six straight weeks. Uh, I see no problem with them be, uh, beating the, I'm saying it's going to be close, but I think the oh, it's Eagles going to be close. Uh, it's not going to be a cakewalk for anybody, but it is going to be a close, but I have the Eagles coming out on top. As the line indicates three points. So yeah, should be a field Let's goal see. game. If, the, if that's what they're saying, yeah. if that's what Vegas is saying. Uh, for me, I'm going with 
the Eagles. I think that uh, they're also at home. I don't know if that matters, but I think it does. I yeah. think the Cowboys are still, uh, you know, beating up on pretty weak teams for the most part. Yeah, hobbled yeah, the like, Rams team last week. Yeah, uh, they've only and they've they've only beat bad teams and they've lost to all the good teams they played. So Miami. Sounds like Miami. <laughs> yeah, yeah. pretty much, yeah. So Same spiel. I think that the uh, Eagles could easily, ex- like if, you know, AJ keeps this up, I mean, even if he doesn't have 150 like, yards like he's been getting, like, I think that um, the Cowboys have shown that the defense is vulnerable somehow against good, really good teams. Well, yeah, no more Trayvon hurts them a lot. Yeah. The Eagles got Kevin Byer. Oh yeah, they did trade for him. Facts. They got all just all the Titans players now. <laughs> AJ Brown, Julio. <laughs> so yeah, Byron. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like we've seen the Cowboys uh, they continue got to get exposed by uh, good teams. So I, I, I truthfully feel like the Eagles are going to pull this one out because the Cowboys can't hang. It's going to be good a good teams. one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it should be. Next game should be good too. Bills at Bengals. Cincinnati yes, is two and a half point favorites, and I will take the Bengals in this one. Uh, they're on a roll right now. Joe Burrow, um, he is that guy. I don't need I don't need to tell you that. But, yeah, anyway, I just think the Bengals are on a roll. We've seen in the playoffs Joe Burrow has beat Josh Allen before. I know it's a playoff different situation, regular season game. But Bengals are going to be at home. I think that the Bills' defense has struggled with the loss of Tredavious White and Matt Milano. Those are probably their two best defensive players. And ever since then, you know, their defense is still able to contain certain teams. But, a team like the Bengals, who's rolling and has this type of offensive firepower, I'm not quite sure. Um, and I just feel like they're going to make more plays. Josh Allen is also prone to turning the ball over, and Cincinnati's defense is super underrated. Quietly one of the better defenses this year. And um, I think if they can just force Josh Allen to to make some ill-advised throws, and they don't have to pick him off three times like the Jets did in week one, but if they can get one or two turnovers on Josh Allen and just make it difficult for him, uh, I think they can come away with this win, and I'm going to pick them to do so. I'm also going to choose the Bengals. I think that the Bengals have been the hottest team in the NFL right now. They are coming off a big win against the 49ers, and the 49ers have a better defense than the Bills do. The Bills have looked shoddy, too, this year. They either are really good or really bad. And um, I think the Bucks had a chance at beating them last week with Baker Mayfield having that. If Chris Godwin looked at the ball, they would have uh, <laughs> no, been having a different conversation. Yeah. So I think the Bengals uh, with Jamar Chase, I think T. Higgins will have a bounce-back week. He's been not the greatest this year. It's a contract here for him, too, so he's going to have to start producing. So I think uh, the Bengals will win this one. I'm also going to go with the Bengals. I think Joe Burrow and them have been hitting on all Burr. cylinders lately. Um, it's very good to see because they were my Super Bowl prediction pick. So them playing like the way I thought they were going to be playing all season now is finally coming into fold, and I think they're going to beat the Bills again. I mean, hey, guys, do you guys remember who made it to the Super Bowl? Not the Bills, right? So, therefore, I picked the Bengals. <laughs> the Chiefs. The Chiefs. <laughs> true, true, true. This guy. Um, you got it, Mar- Go ahead, Mario. Yeah, I'm standing one man versus 50. Stand on, <laughs> stand on business. <laughs> stand on business. I love my Bills. Yeah, I love my Bills. I love uh, – I still got them at Super Bowl picks. I know that their defense is, is a bit hobbled right now. Unfortunately, not even just hobbled. They, those niggas aren't coming back anytime soon. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so, it is what it is, but I don't – Hey, I Demar do. Hamlin playing. <laughs> hey man. Well, I don't know if he's playing, but he's. This is the game. Like this is the same place he had that injury. So don't even put him out there. Don't yeah, yeah. Him. Don't. Yeah. I honestly don't. Don't <laughs> even dress him, bro, for the game. But I do agree with a lot of things you guys have been saying about the Bengals. Uh, but what I where I don't agree is that I think that uh, Josh Allen will contain his uh, turnovers. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't have those uh, major mistakes and their offense right now is very high powered you know i know that they have some losses but the bills have shown against good defenses that they can still get it get shit done through the, like down the field so uh digs i mean we all know who digs is uh gabe davis has been looking better than he was last year uh, i was ha- super high on him last year and he was stunk. Just a super. I, I think this buzzed. is his best. Yeah. He's on pace to have his best season so far, right? Stats wise, yeah. This season? So far, he's kind of just like some games. He'll get you like one reception for three yards. Other, he'll get you like three for 150 <laughs> and two touchdowns. It's just that's the type of player he is. <laughs> yeah, big game, and, uh, Gabe. Yeah, Josh, seriously. Josh has been keeping it contained for the most part since like some of those bad games earlier on in the season. So I think that he will continue to play a little smarter. Uh, yes, Khalil, yes. Khalil Shakir has been looking really good too. He got a he got a up in targets last week and he was making the most of it. So 
I'm gonna have to stand on King K too. Uh, he's, yeah, he's Dalton, real yeah, Dalton. Good. Oh my god, yeah, I, forgot, I can't even forgot. I can't believe I forgot Fresh about him. Dalton was cooking. He looks real good. Yeah, he's looking really good. I think Dawson Knox getting hurt is the best thing that could ever happen for him right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sadly, but true. Yeah, but I mean, Fournette's a definitely a really good pass catcher. So if he does, you know, get uh, touches and stuff. As long as he's there for his, like check downs, and yeah, he might get like a one or two carries yeah, a game. Like, <laughs> he'll be the, he's he's there straight check down. But other than that, I, I do feel like the Bills will uh, pull this out, and I'm gonna stand on Benny's. Yeah, there you go, right. by yourself. Yeah. Last game of the week, Monday night. Charger. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with dude? <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Standing on Benny's. Standing on Benny's. Standing on Benny's. Chargers at Jets. That's why I looked at this dude. Um, <laughs> Yeah, Jets are at home, but Chargers are favored by three and a half. Go ahead. You can do your little thing, whatever you're going to say. You first. You first. You got to say, I'll go last. I'll go last. I'm going with the Jets. I think their defense. Oh, this guy. Uh oh. (laughs) Hudson stands on business. Please talk into the mic, bro. Business. (laughs) Yeah, I got the Jets. Hudson, tell him I'm business right now. I think their defense is one of the best in the NFL. They've always made all the top tier QBs struggle. So I think Justin Herbert will struggle as well. He has an injured finger. It don't matter. <laughs> Keenan Sauce Allen is uh, Sauce Gardner is him. He's coming back this game too. DJ Reed, I think, is also coming back. So their defense will be even stronger. Their front seven is really good at pass rushing. So they always keep the game close until the end. And Zach Wilson's coming off a huge drive, a game winning drive. In fact, so. oh my god, that game winning drive had me so. <laughs> oh my god, so what? Oh, 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 <laughs> like 14 seconds left. You saw that shit? That shit was yeah, crazy. Nigga was wet. <laughs> I actually was. So, yeah, <laughs> me or Zach? Uh, That's crazy. <laughs> So, yeah, I think the Jets are going to take this one uh, strictly from defense and Zach Wilson finishing the game out. Just like my boy Huston said, just like how he's standing on business, that's how Zach Wilson's going to stand on business <laughs> on Monday night. Guys, it was, uh, Justin Herbert is not a very good fourth quarter player, okay? So, judging by that logic, Zach Wilson and the Jets are going to tear him apart in the fourth quarter. This is because of Zach Wilson playing amazing the first three quarters. They don't even got to worry about the fourth quarter. Zach is going to drop like 300. Mm, no. Zach is going to drop like. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you about to say, three. What? Zach is going to have, is gonna have <laughs> another breakout <laughs> game against another good. Say, don't finish. <laughs> Zach is going to have another. Z- Zach is going to have another breakout game against another very good NFL team. Just How like he's had this whole year. can one player have? He beat the, he beat the Bills. He beat, <laughs> has he made he broken out he, yet? He, he <laughs> outplayed like, the Guys, guys, I can keep doing this. All he has to do is keep it until Rodgers comes back. It looks like Rodgers is going to come back this season. The oh, I don't think so. He's, Have you seen him? He's literally going to get hurt again immediately. Nah, I think he'll be They're able to They're not going to risk their franchise QB home. like coming back. franchise, this man got two years left. He's four years old. Yeah, no, Bro, they, they invested. Dude, <laughs> like, they, yeah. that's the one position they need. If this guy gets hurt again, they're cooked. They need to go well, back into the, the draft. They have one of the best defenses in a long time. So that's I what I'm saying, bro. They should, if they can rush, if he can play, play him. He'll nice. be better than Zach Wilson with one leg. Zach, they have the best a lot of things. They have, the, they have a really good O-line. They have a really no, good defense. They I'm have not really rushing good them back this wide year. Wide receiver core. They have a lot of good stuff. No, no, of course they do. I'm not disagreeing with that. Like I'm like just it. saying Aaron Rodgers thing. I'm not rushing him back yeah, this year. Yeah, I don't year. know about that. Yeah. But uh, I have the Jets winning and Zach's going to drop 230 yards. So. Um, 300. Mm, no interceptions. <laughs> he said 300. Mm, nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. You got to stand on business. You got to stand on fuck. He's going to drop 320 yards this game, bro. I'm going to tell you. He stands on business. Honestly. That's my boy. Just like me and Hustle. Nah. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. Before you, before are, are you gonna lock I'm that done. in? You're gonna lock yeah. that 100% in. Hundred percent, lock that in. All right. Just, just, just to preface, they beat the Giants, who had four, negative four passing yards in the second half, by three points in overtime. Imagine 13 having to negative 10 passing last yards. Week, That's crazy. Okay? Imagine yeah. having it, making a team have negative yeah. passing yards. And, and, That's and, standing on business, best. Facts, <laughs> facts. Nice. The defense stood on business for a practice squad QB, and the the offense still only scored 13 points in overtime. Yeah. Because of that, you know. Chargers defense ain't good either. I'm not about to disagree with you that he might he might look Brees good this Hall week. Could have a good game too. Yeah, Brees Hall might pop off. Chargers defense, one of the most gashable defenses in the league, especially when it comes to the run. They were dead last last year when it comes to the run. Every running back was eating, having career days against them. Uh, this year's a little better, but they're still not good. Um, that being said, though, this offense has struggles. I think they they'll be able to move the ball. It's not, I don't think they're going to just get threes and three and outs every time. But I I trust the Chargers and their offense as a whole more. Brandon Staley kind of concerns me just because he does dumb shit. I could see him like being midfield going for it, and then that just changes the whole complexion of the game. Like Plays like that, it's just hard for me to pick the Chargers on a consistent basis because of that. But I'm still going to go with them just because they're the better team. Although the coaching staff is just not inspiring a lot of confidence in me. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stand on the Chargers, though. I think they're going to win this one just because of the firepower. Um, 
and yeah, that that's really all I got to say about that. Kind of sounds like Fez is standing on business to us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna no, also Jets, go with the Chargers. Reluctantly picking the Chargers. I just want you guys to know. There you go. I do. I agree with Bez. I trust the Chargers' offense. I think Eckler is the greatest in the world. <laughs> I think he's gonna have 400 yards. <laughs> he's gonna have three. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think Eckler's gonna have a good game. I think uh, Keenan's this year has been going crazy. I mean, we know what he does when he's. Uh, alive. Yeah. Right. Field. Facts. When he has so, a hamstring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no Mike Will either. <laughs> yeah. Even even if those is no no Mike Will. Uh, Josh Palmer has been looking pretty good. He might not play this week either. Yeah, yeah, Quentin uh, Johnson looked better. But yeah, I he, saw Quentin, that, um, yeah. Quentin Johnson did look better last Keenan week. Keenan Allen's yeah. seventy yards away from hitting ten k yards for his career. It's good for him. I hit yeah. that. Shout out to him. Yeah. Probably yeah, he will. going for it. So I think yeah I do just uh, agree with Beth. I think the team is the better team. The Jets uh, offense struggle against everyone. You know, and then they lucked out. They lucked out pretty much last game, just from having such a bad team to play against. If they play against any other team that's confident, they're losing that game. Probably. So yeah. I'm gonna have to go with the uh, Chargers. One to end though in the national. Football yeah, the defense did what they needed to do, so can't yeah, get mad at them. We talking, when we talking about predictions, a win is not a win because <laughs> they uh, they, yeah, they, yeah, they right. beat the Giants. All right, those were all the picks. So we'll see good. how it goes this week. Undefeated. I don't think anyone we will be undefeated. Be undefeated. But this is the week. I'm undefeated. Easy. Let's get into player A versus player B. So yes, sir. Don't look, I, don't, do this. I, I, I need a. I need y'all to to not look over here. It's not news. Explain huh? the rules. It's not news. Not for NFL. Oh, this. this yeah, is this is NFL stuff. player oh, okay, A versus okay. player B, and then we'll go to NBA stuff. Oh, then we'll get into all the juicy stuff. So I'm gonna give you two stat, two player stat lines. You tell me player A or player B. So player A in his first six starts, 1,300 passing yards, five touchdowns to three interceptions. With an 85 QB rating, and his team is averaging 15.8 points. Okay? You guys got that? You won't even repeat that. I'm good. I got it. Okay. Next player in his first six starts, uh, 13, also 1,300, 1,380 passing yards, 10 touchdowns to five interceptions. He has a 93 QB rating, and his team is averaging 26.8 points per game. Which player would you rather have? You can go first. Player A or player B? I'll choose the second player, player B. If you need me to repeat any of these things, let me know. No, I think I, I think I pretty much understood. Okay, uh, okay. Yeah, I chose player B for that one. All right. Player B has more touchdowns, right? By yeah, by five? Ten to five versus yeah, five to three. Player B. Yeah, higher player QBR B. as well, correct? Yes, yeah, higher QBR. QBR. And, and more points. And more points. points. But I feel like it's like a trick, a trick question. You get me? Yeah. I feel like I'm going to get closer to your mic, too. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like it's a trick it's question. First, that's, so the that, that, that's the only thing these that gets These are these. That's what I'm You got to really think about these. Yeah, because the offense, like the point totals, even though he has ten touchdowns, he could be on a really good running team, you know. Like, that's what I'm saying, like you got to think so about a potential. Team that's I'll tell you who they are after. So you just got to consider every possibility. I don't want you to like give you any hints. But can I ask a question now? No, no, no. no, no. Pick, just pick a player. No. Yeah, I pick player B. All right. You pick. You pick yeah. B too, right? Yeah. The safe. I'm. I'm on the safe side, but I feel like it might be a trick. You go. You player, yeah, B? Go player B. So player A is Derek Carr this season for the first six games. Okay. And player B is Andy Dalton with the Saints last year. It's the, the same I, amount yeah. of games. Let's see here. First six versus what do you first think six. About that? that's the, yeah, that's Derek Carr and Chris Olave haven't rocket. been able to get it going. That's mainly Chris Olave's touchdowns, Andy. isn't it? For Andy Dalton, I'd uh, say. I mean, I don't know who he threw it but to. But assuming, so I think Chris Olave. I then, just found that interesting that Andy Dalton last year was able to do more did. with. Yeah, Derek Carr. Who's he, who's, good, who was on? Who, what, uh, this is before la, la, last two weeks, so he's gotten a little better. But the first six games, this is what the stat What team did Dalton play for last year? The Saints. Saints. He was their backup. backup QB. Uh, damn. Uh, but he stepped in a few times because yeah. uh, who do they have? Who was their main James. starter? Was it Jameis? Yeah, for, for a little bit, right? No, 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 no. Main starter got hurt. Yeah. Winston was their starter last year. Was it? No, yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, 100%. I feel like there was, bro. I Why do I even? I feel like there was yeah, another there, I feel involved. like someone else was starting over Wait, Derek what, Carr. Taysom Hill? <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely Jameis. Yeah, I guess they just rotated Jameis and Dalton. Like the whole Red, no, Jameis was the one, and he got hurt, and then Andy Dalton oh, okay. took over. Red yeah. Rocket. But it's crazy to me that they even get any yards or, like, touchdowns off of the taste. Like, they know what's going to happen when Taysom gets the ball. <laughs> right. Like, you know how big that dude is, There may be a throw, though. Maybe a throw. Maybe like, a know throw. they're going to run. Like, he you gets the ball it. and looks, and it just starts running. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yo. Yeah, like, you can't stop it. Cheese, cheese. Yeah, he still gets, like, two yards every time. He's nasty. He literally plays every position. Special teams, running back, QB, tight end. That crazy. That guy. Jack of all trades. Yeah, I'm not player. surprised. Derek Carr is not hasn't looked the greatest yeah. throwing the ball. So Just that was a good was comparison. I like that one. Yeah. That was a good interesting one. Okay, the next one we got. So player A has twelve hundred passing yards in this is also first six games. Uh this is pretty much when I did this or what I used as a sample size. Uh 
So 1,200 passing yards, seven touchdowns to nine interceptions, 66 completion percentage, 78 QBR, and has been sacked 13 times. The second player, player B, one, only 1,000 passing yards, five touchdowns to three interceptions, 55% completion, 76 QBR, and has been sacked 16 times. If you need me to repeat anything, let me know. I'll pick player one. Yeah. Player Why a. does that sound like yeah. Justin Fields, but whatever? Player A. Player A. Player A. It might okay. be Sam Howell, too. That's a good pick. It is Jimmy G with the Raiders versus Jamarcus Russell with the Raiders. Those were the two oh, stat lines. Yeah, Jimmy G is... I don't even need to talk yeah, about it. He got benched for a reason. He can't pay like <laughs> yeah, $40 yeah, million. Yeah. Dollars, you know? But the fact that those stat lines were comparable just yeah. goes yeah. to how bad he's been this year. That's pretty much what I wanted to show yeah. in that. What was this, it was like 16 and 13 sacks? It was, yeah. He's Well, Jimmy's been sacked less than Jamarcus has been, Jimmy and he's did. thrown seven to nine picks versus five to three. Wasn't Jamarcus like the biggest bust or something? He was, yeah. That's why I yeah. brought his name up, and this is how bad Jimmy's been. <laughs> Jimmy G's been uh, looking yeah. for it. Looking to get sacked too. You, have you seen him in the pocket? Like, <laughs> he's moving towards the sack. I'm like, dude, this guy he has, has zero no awareness. awareness at all. No, not at all. No awareness. movement in the pocket either. either. When he tries to move up, he like barely moves. Like, he just up. He just looks like, like my grandma like, with the walker, yeah. bro. Dude, dude, he was that getting carried by the, by the Niners system. Yeah, he for yeah, sure. He, was was getting, he probably, because having Trent, like, he's getting a hundred years to throw, you know, like. Yeah. And he won a Super Bowl off Tom Brady's yeah. ass cheeks. Like, yeah. <laughs> he actually did. He played yeah. like he started four games, looked good, and they were like, oh, okay. Thank keep God him. Jimmy got benched. Yeah, now you know what you, we'll see what you have with Aiden age. O'Connell. All right. He's okay. I mean, <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> two, two more. We got a running back this time. Okay. Running back comparison. So player A, um, 1,100 carries. Eleven. Okay, let me, let me be more specific. <laughs> Wait, what? 1,150 <laughs> carries. 1,150. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. This is career. Career, yeah. sorry, not oh, season. Oh, okay. This is oh, career, career number. Yes. 1,000? That's what I was thinking. I'm like, bro, like, that's yeah, a lot of carries. This is career. We're, yeah, obviously. 1,100 carries, Huss. Yeah, we're... Dog, 1,000. Bro, you get like 200 carries a year as a running back. That's right? a 1,000 oh, yeah, right. carries. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even I'm like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, it's, it's career stats. Okay, career. CMC. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Like, hey, Christian, Christian, Christian. Just one game. Was <laughs> um, so, uh, uh, 1,150 carries, um, 5,324 rushing yards, 71 touchdowns, 468 receptions, 3,984 receiving yards in 82 games. Player B has 1,204 carries, for 5,396 rushing yards, so slightly more. 72 total touchdowns to 71. One more. 565 receptions to 568. Um, 3,930 3, receiving yards to 3,984. And 92 games played. Which player would you rather have? It's like the same player damn near. I have A. Okay. I think two has more stats. but They're very similar. They're a, a lot of these are They're similar for a reason. Similar. I mean, um, B, okay. You you chose A? You yeah. chose B? I'll choose B as well. Okay, so player A is Christian McCaffrey, Fuck. and oh. player B is Alvin Kamara. Uh, yeah, oh, I, I've, I've seen, seen Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, didn't I saw that, and I, I threw it on here. They that's have, like, a, that was a good one. That's extremely a similar stat line for their whole career. Who do you think has been better? Probably McCaffrey, because if they CMC? put the touchdowns on here, it would be is crazy. Mad games. Yeah, I saw touchdowns. He's only missed one year or two years. That's, a lot, that's a lot of games. That's a lot of games. But he played every single game after. He's, so. Kamara's, Kamara's He's played 10 more games than him. Yeah, it was like, oh, okay. but it was like two years that he had like these like significant injuries. Yeah. Yeah. So. But I had a feeling one of them was going to be CMC. I, I chose wrong. When he said that, he was like, Christian McCaffrey. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, I was like... I was just going off the carries. It's like yeah, 1,100 yeah, yeah. in one there's season. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, there's no way yeah. anybody yeah. will survive yeah. that. Like, <laughs> six six one season, season, bro, like, that's like, that's like, that's like when OJ yeah. was playing, bro. I'm doing the math, man. I'm oh, like, how's that even add up? <laughs> <laughs> you definitely have CTE by the end of the season. Yeah, bro. That's yeah. a whole career's worth of carries yeah. in one season. Like, you're done for. 60 Your QB must be, like, disabled, bro. No, what is the – okay, 17 They might be disabled. 1,200 carries, dude? Like, you have to have, like, you have to have, like, 105. 100, 510 carries a game. Bro, you, <laughs> bro, if, if if you had 340 carries in a season, is if you got 20 carries for 17 games. Yeah. So you would have saying. to like you multiply. Would yeah. by you'd have like you'd have 100. You'd have. A, Let's oh, see. Three, you would need 64.7 carries every game to to get that in a season. Yeah, like to get that many yards. 64. Like oh, 1100 carries. Yeah. Yeah. That's Jesus insane. Christ. That sounds doable. Bez, did you see a stat line over the weekend about the Steelers? Dude, Saquon almost got 40 last week. I'm not going to lie. So. <laughs> um, to kill that, man. 
All right, let's move on. This is my favorite one. This is actually my favorite player A versus player B. So, guys, think about this, okay? okay. So, this is the first six <laughs> weeks of this season. Okay, player A has 1,143 passing yards, 11 passing touchdowns to five interceptions, 62% completion, a 95.4 QBR, and yeah, in five games. Um, player B has 1,280 passing yards, 10 touchdowns to four picks, 67 completion, uh, also 95.4 QBR in the same amount of games. Who are you going with, player A or player B? If you need me to repeat anything, I think player, A is, player A is 11 to 5, five pa- touchdowns, same amount of games, and player B 10 to 4 touchdowns. Is this the current, play, like, current season? Yeah, yeah current this season. season. This is this season. You guys can maybe try to figure out who it is. I don't know like, if you will. Is it Brock? No, it's not. I'll, I'll tell don't you it's not Brock. It. I don't want to ask questions. Yeah, uh, I'll think say it's, it's not Brock because okay. I don't want to trick him into yeah. like picking <laughs> against Brock. Okay. But I'm going player A. Okay. Uh, can you give me the yards one more time for A and B? Yeah. Um, player A has... 1,143, player B has 1,200. One less interception. Which touchdown. one's the guy with one less interception? B. Um, it's 11 to 5 versus 10 to 4. Give me A. One more touchdown. Okay. Even though the interception less is worth he more. He has a high QBR, so 94 has been pretty insane. They have the same QBR. They have QBR. the same QBR. Yeah, oh, the same okay. QBR. I'm going to go B. Just, uh, B? Yeah. A very good pick, Omari. It's Justin Fields versus Patrick Mahomes. Did I pick Patrick Mahomes? Yeah, player B is Patrick one. Mahomes. Player A is Justin like Fields this season. I knew it. I was <laughs> locked in. I was locked the fuck in. I did call Patrick City, Mahomes. City, I, DJ I, Moore Patrick Mahomes. Was like, <laughs> I was locked yeah. in that one. <laughs> I was locked in. So. Hey, so that means Justin Fields is as good as Mahomes then, right? Hey. That's crazy. <laughs> this season, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, stats can be deceiving, but those are – there's some That's I found good. interesting in the player well, comparison. Had a pretty bad game last week. So. Yeah, and I didn't even corp- I couldn't because Fields didn't play, hasn't played since then. So yeah. like it you said been five, right? Games, you said right? five games. Is yeah. Fields? I think that was like. Oh, I think it's Fields because he got injured in his, the. I picked. Yeah, I was gonna. I had to do five games because Fields got hurt. Otherwise, I heard you. Say, I'm like Stout five. Line, it was six be before, yeah. so someone might have. Yeah, yeah, that crazy DJ Morgan. Yeah, I'm when yeah. you pick player A, I was like, yeah, he knows his yeah. Fields. <laughs> oh, I knew one was Mahomes, but I just didn't know which. Really, you knew one was Mahomes. I said it. Oh, oh yeah, you did. Me. Yeah, you did. All right, that that was NFL. Um, pretty pretty good talk right there. Pretty good game right there. But sorry, yeah, sorry. it's time to move on to NBA. All right. What? Oh. No, I was saying, Hudson, I ate off that TikTok. Where I the same. I think we were looking at the same stat, right? This one. Mahomes versus Fields. Yeah, the uh, the ten four, the five. Yeah, that was is. the same thing. Yeah, yeah. I ate off that one on Instagram. I think that's where I saw it, bro. I think that's where I got it from. So. <laughs> Gabe, it's yeah. Gabe's you should have known. You know what I said? I, I said we gotta. Down. I said we should start a dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. I mean. All right. I've been coming not. around to Justin Fields lately, so, yeah. Uh, That's crazy. Yeah, no, I had to throw it. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, JF1, it's JF1, baby. I'm not, I'm never, I'll never let you down, Jay. Uh, now we get to now. Nubba. The <laughs> NBA. Nubba Chubber. <laughs> not the Nibbers. Um. We're playing, we're playing football tomorrow, bros. I am playing football tomorrow. Yeah, I will be there. Yeah, I'm, Mbappe. I'm ready to. Ho- I'm ready to ball. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm All right. I, was busy. I just slept. Uh, <laughs> let's I go. Know. Let's go talk about this James Harden trade, yo. Because oh, we man. it went down la- since last time. Uh, we oh, we knew what was gonna happen. We just didn't know what the package was and mm-hmm. you know when it was gonna go down. And it you know we, there was some uncertainty because the Clippers or the 76ers were looking like they were not gonna budge, but it went down. And uh, let me read you this trade summary. So. The Clippers get James Harden and P.J. Tucker. Um, Sixers get Marcus Morris, Nicholas Batum, Robert Covington, K.J. Martin, uh, and multiple draft picks and pick swaps. So, First rounders, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm not too sure. The there there was one in there. There was a f- couple pick swaps. I don't have it here. Underdog just said pick swap, so I'm not going to research the rest of it right now, but... <laughs> Uh, it's a 2028, I believe, first round unprotected. One of them is for a fact, and the pick swaps don't quote me on the specifics of those. I'm not too sure, mm-hmm. but um, some notes to note about this trade. Uh, before we get into evaluating it, I just want you guys to know these things because it could affect how you look at this trade. So all the Clippers players that they traded for are expiring. So mm-hmm. Morris, Batum, Covington, Martin. This is all the last year of their deal. They're off the books this season. Um, and they're also eligible to be traded again by the trade deadline. So the 76ers did this trade where they're able to flip these guys again if they want to uh, by the trade deadline because the, the statue or whatever that the, the, the league requires is going to be up. Mm-hmm. And additionally, so the fact that these players are expiring, the 76ers will have $100 million, in excess of $100 million of cap space this summer um, 
to sign whoever they want, you know, with this with the with this trade because they with freed the up Hunt James games. Harden and all these guys coming off the books. So, yeah. also got some first rounders. So, because of that, uh, I'm, I'll go ahead and, and give my thoughts for Philly. I thought it was pretty decent because of those factors. Once I learned about this whole situation, because I think you know they were never going to get back fair value for Harden, especially with the situation, the fact that he was asking out already and you know made a whole public <laughs> outcry. He was never playing for the 76ers again. <laughs> And he only wanted to go to the Clippers. <laughs> Daryl Morey is yeah, a liar. Bro went to China. <laughs> I they didn't even know what he was talking <laughs> yeah, about. Yeah, they were like, who? 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 Yeah, facts. So, yeah, so the fact that they were able to kind of finagle their way, you know, they didn't get the players that they really are going to help them this season, but they got the picks that they wanted, which Daryl Morey wanted. Uh, uh, unprotected in 2028. 20, Ain't no way Kawhi and Paul George will be on Clippers yeah, in 2020. Nah. And so probably not James Harden They're not even going to be in the league. Yeah, <laughs> that that part. So, yeah, yeah I, I like what they did with the picks that they ended up getting. Um, I like the fact that they're able – the two things that I mentioned, the fact that they're able to be traded again and the $100 million of cap space is huge because I think we're think, talking about Embiid potentially getting traded, but the way Maxi has looked and the fact that – you know, they're going to have so much money in the offseason kind of puts a hold on that because it gives, you know, you're able to give them this idea that, look, you know, Maxi's having the most improved player se- season this year. We got 100 million cap space next summer. We can get you the help you need. You know, it might not be the star players, but uh, I looked into the free agency pool. A lot of good quality role players are in the free agency pool next season. OG Ananobi, um, uh, who else is good? Pascal Siakam, a lot of Raptors guys, but quality role players are going to be in the free agent pool next year. So the fact that they're able to do that, you know, not great. It's still not looking good. They're not going to be contenders this year unless they're somehow able to flip these assets again, like I said, at the trade deadline. Who knows? Maybe Zach Levine's disgruntled. Yeah. I would really love that for them. Um, who uh, Jeremy Grant, too, would be a good piece to get for them on a rebuilding team. Just any type of pieces. They need to do something at the trade deadline because if that they don't, and beads out, and you're not gonna, that money's going to just be there. Be in the well, I'm, I'm saying, though, it, it, the thing is, if they don't, there is some world where they can convince them in the offseason that we're going to sign players. Now, if they don't sign anyone in the offseason, then it's, it's, <laughs> he might be frustrated and request a trade. Yeah, but, he's, he's out of there, bro. But the fact that they're able to have flexibility at least gives them and him some sort of way out where they can finagle a contending team around him even though they're not able to get the assets for James Harden. So, although this isn't like a sma- – obviously, you're not going to win this trade getting this type of package back, but just the situation they put themselves in, I'm going to give them a B for the trade. Mm-hmm. And, obviously, I'm going to give the Clippers a B plus because they gave up virtually nothing for this. <laughs> you know, you're going all in, but at this point, you might as to. well. Cause yeah, I'm saying, no, I'll give the Clippers an A plus. Yeah. 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 I, I, I wouldn't give them an A plus. <laughs> I wouldn't give them an A plus for, the fact, <laughs> yeah. for the fact that – they just did a finesse, but that team doesn't like. It doesn't it like the, the trade. Doesn't move me itself. You said it. You said this to me before. It doesn't move me like. It doesn't move me up in any way. Yeah, just like really. stays neutral. They yeah. they they definitely got better, but I don't. I wouldn't say like the Clippers got this whole new dynamic to them that like they just leveled up completely. They got better for sure, but I just don't know how this dynamic is gonna work with James and Russ off ball because Russell Westbrook already. They don't even guard him off the ball. They literally play four on five without him. See how they, they and play them. And then, yeah, we got to see. But with James Harden, he's not good off ball either. So now you got two people off ball. You know, James Harden can shoot, so yeah. it's fine. But Russell Westbrook's a negative. <laughs> but both of them don't move is the point I'm trying to make is that they're not, they're not off ball movers. You never see these guys cutting or getting so face How open. many players are off ball movers? Like Curry. That? You're just going to like <laughs> the, be- one the best one, one to move off ball. No, no, no. <laughs> Let's just go Stephen Curry because everybody lot, moves like Steph. Curry. <laughs> All right. A lot of players aren't, so fast, but too. Curry. there's a lot <laughs> He immediately <laughs> <knew>. <laughs> like, yeah. Who's like shooters? Austin Reeves? Curry? Like, no. Austin Reeves? Uh, no, but seriously though, there's a lot of players who maybe aren't you know necessarily known for their off-ball movement. But even guys like LeBron, they cut a, a lot of the time. You know, okay. even guys like Zach Levine, they get backdoor passes. They go around screens. Just that type of stuff is all I'm saying, and that is what concerns me really. Mm. Is you know when they're not when James Harden's not doing his tween tween step back mm. or setting other dudes up, what is he doing at? on offense and how is that going to fit in with Russell Westbrook? The, that's the biggest thing for me is them two on the court together is super concerning just because of their play style. We've seen it happen before yeah, multiple times. Before, so. so, and it hasn't worked. They literally have to trade all their centers because Ooh, Russell spacing, Westbrook of yeah. the, yeah. And, uh, they can not have anybody over six feet, seven on the roster. That's how uh, bad it was. So, um, because of that, I'm not too sure on how the encore fit with them, but you know, I guess they could bench Russ, but he's also one of your better players this year. It, it's just a tough fit for me in that aspect. But, again, you gave up nothing for him. All these role players weren't doing shit for you. Mm-hmm. So, it's like you're getting upgraded in that sense. And, you know, you were trying to trade for Malcolm Brogdon in the offseason. 
So you get basically a better point guard in that aspect without the injury concerns. So they upgraded in that sense. But again, I'm only going to give him a B plus because of that on court fit. But at the same time, they gave him nothing. So I think honestly, I w- I won't say it's a necessarily a win win trade, but I think the 76ers did good for the situation that James Harden put them in. Yeah, I completely disagree. I'll give the Philadelphia 76ers an F. F. Yes, an F. I think for the sole reason that I think they failed Joel and B. You are smacking <laughs> on Harden's pee pee in your mouth. You are Josh Hart. Well, yeah, you gotta hear I what, what I have, you to, have to, say to say first. No, that's what I'm saying. I want to hear what you yeah. have to say. Yeah. 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 I got the reason why this. I give an F is not because of the James F Harden situation. Crazy. It's because of Joel Embiid. I think they failed Joel Embiid. Yes, he's only made it to the second round. He's a second round merchant, but this guy's a <laughs> he's a world uh, world class athlete. He's an MVP. He's done nothing wrong or done anything negative for the organization. This is how they set him up year after year after year. The team has never realistically the best chance they had was last year, and we saw how that played out. Best chance they had was um, Ben Simmons, they, oh, and Jimmy. they let Jimmy walk. Yeah, they let Tobias walk. Harris yeah. over me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Tobias Harris over Jimmy freaking Butler. <laughs> this, this organization has failed them time and time again. Like I said, if they don't make like, they, it's good that they got expiring contracts and uh, players that they could trade if players if people want them, and if they don't. Uh, Joel Embiid is going to request out, and no one's going to say a damn word because he deserves better. Yeah, the organization is treating him I, like trash. Yeah, I agree. He trusted the process. And the and process has failed yeah, like, because of the organization, too. I don't think they put him in great that situations. Has, I mean, they're 3 and 1 without Harden. Like, they're playing three good and without one, him. I'm, gonna I'm saying, like, to win. Not, this team, with that type of talent and that level of player, you expect the championship. No, Straight you're up. 100%. They're not a championship level team, but I'm saying they're good enough right now where you can convince them with more pieces, they'll be good enough. It's not like this is a bottom feeding team where he sees, like, but, oh my God, we're so yeah, bad. Like, we're not even close. But how many years, man? Like, no, no, no. I'm, I'm saying this, this off season. I'm saying uh, I can't give him an F because they haven't done like I still I'm giving him time to do with the cap space and the assets and the draft picks. I'm allowing them to do what they do. Obviously, if they keep this team, it's a, it's an F. But I don't think they're going to keep this team. I don't think Daryl Morey has made it abundantly clear that he wanted an all star level player for Harden. But the situation that Harden put him in, it just wasn't going to happen. He put himself in that situation, too. Okay, He's whatever. The GM of the freaking you, team. You can argue with the player. You, you no, can, but I'll never Huston, play for him. I was gonna ask you during the your thing. I was like, when you're saying uh, you give the organization enough, this is like primarily a hardened factor too. For yeah, what like he did. C- Daryl Morey is part of the problem, but he kept it all behind the scenes. It's he like, he could only like trade him that, to like, one team. How what, what was he supposed to do? Him putting himself out there like that, yeah, so any like team that, that they traded him to would have been made it impossible to get a good package. That's because of who he is as as a person too. Daryl Morey is it's fifty fifty. It's not just James Harden, but he kept it all behind the scenes. Doesn't matter. Harden brought everything. So you can't. Give them the organization the efforts of 50 yeah. 50. At least give them well, a seat. What, did, what does Joel Embiid, what does Joel Embiid have to do with this? And this effect, so, so, uh, and this hurts him. I, I got to grade the trade. I'm not going to grade Joel Embiid who's irrelevant to the trade. Well, I, I think know, well, context well, we, matters for everything, right? But I, I'm we, saying, we're I don't think about the trade, though. This, Why this, isn't, like, it, this isn't like the, the Lakers trading Anthony Davis and LeBron, like, okay, now we're fucked. It's like <laughs> they have a good do team think, regardless of the trade. Do you think this trade positively affects the Sixers' future, yes or no? No. You're giving it an F. That's how you see no. Like what Best said, he gave examples. He's like, they're tradable assets. They're, yeah. They got picks swaps. They got picks they got for that. Yeah, hundred million. I got to know because I think Joel Embiid's going to ask out. And without Joel Embiid, this whole organization is cooked. I get what you're saying. It's not fair. Like, you're just assuming he's going to ask he's, out. Yeah, and he's, the, the, he's, he's assuming yeah, that. Yeah, I'm making a prediction. But you're yeah. assuming he's going to ask out. And you're assuming that the the, what, the cap space, the picks, the players they got, they're going to do nothing with them. I just yeah. disagree with that portion of you assuming Embiid. That's the only thing I disagree with. How are you going to assume? I don't know why. how you can assume. You got to grade. Because of everything. Yeah, I'm grading. It He's all saying all this is gonna lead context. and beat to leaving and not like ruining, ruining the franchise. I, I can't agree with that because I don't think it will. I just, I just he's, don't, I don't, I don't think he's gonna too. stay. There's no reason for him to stay on that team. Tyre, yeah, Tyrese Maxey is having a great season so far, but he can't. I don't think he can be a number two. So on is Kelly Oubre, right? 20 points per game, 50, 40, 90. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not even kidding. I'm, I'm not even kidding. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm not, I know. He's having a good season. I know. Yeah. He's a, I, know. <laughs> I gotta glaze Kelly a little bit. Show you on a on a min too. He wasn't even gonna show him the stat line. On a min. All I care about for Joel Embiid. Is the postseason, and I know this postseason uh, true, he has true. zero chance. And if he can predict the future of them not making it to the the past the second round at least, then what, what, you think Joel's gonna stay? But the thing is, like, okay, you, he doesn't have a chance right now. But I'm I'm thinking that number one, this is not the finished product of the team. And even mm-hmm. if it is this season, I don't think like he's not gonna he'll give the GM the benefit of the doubt of one off season to make it right. I don't think if they lose this year, he's gonna immediately request but a it's, trade. It's not one off season to me. It's his whole tenure as a Sixer. It's not bad. What is he? He's only been good for that. True, but the GMs put him in positions to win. It's not like they haven't, they've been inept in surrounding him with talent, bro. 
They, like, the only year fast. they did was the Jimmy Butler game. The, the Kawhi no, shot was last like, year was good too. They stunk it up. That was on the coach. That was on James Harden and him. And so him, yeah. there's no reason. Like he can't, he had to look himself in the mirror. Like they they did a good job of surrounding him with talent. I'm not saying that their team was but like the, overpowered way, favorites. Yeah, but they exactly. definitely had chances to win and get to the finals. Like there's there, you know they they yeah, could have beat. Uh, uh, who did they lose? The, the Celtics, Celtics in the game seven. Like, they were up in that series. They were up 3 2 and they blew two straight games. So, like, they definitely had there's a, a part chance. Of, yeah, there's blame from him, too. But and they could have easily beat the season heat. and, um, like, the way that it started and how the trade rumors and all that stuff are happening. Like, Joel Embiid has never been a problem for, like, a locker room problem or anything for the 76ers. It's only been upper brass and, like, everything that's happening. So, I, the reason why I grade this, tr- or grade, the reason why I have, this team as an F for this trade is because I don't think they'll do anything with the assets. And I think Joel mm-hmm. Embiid will leave eventually because I see his success is only being postseason success. And I don't see that happening this year. So I see enough for me. I understand. I, I see your viewpoints. Right. I do somewhat yeah. agree with Hassan when it comes to um, like they, yeah, they did trade him for a lot of cap space and they got those picks, but all those things are unproven, like, you know, unguaranteed things. Yeah. Like we don't uh, know what the future considering. Yeah, considering what uh, Hudson was saying about MB, like he's obviously not the happiest there w- with his players and stars keep leaving, you know, either quitting or leaving. It's been a long period of time. There's already been rumors about him wanting to be on other teams. So I don't think that, um, you know, obviously depending on what they where they get this postseason and if they can actually flip them for the uh, – fl- but I don't see them flipping those players regardless because it's just like, who they're, wants them? They're, yeah, who want, like, they're not bad players. The they're expiring point. contracts. Like teams are gonna want those at the very least. Yeah, but like yeah, teams I'm, are. If the these Bulls, players contribute the, to winning right now, who Morris? No, 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 no. I'm not saying they can't. But I'm uh, saying like, for the if contract. you look at the team like the Bulls, right? They got all this money invested in DeRozan, Vucevic, and Levine. And if they want to blow it up, they're gonna have to get the, rid of those guys. So if yeah, you, they'll take those. Yeah. yeah, they take the picks and those contracts, and they're off the books next season. You can get all this cap space. You don't have to pay luxury tax. You get time for your young players. Yeah. So even if they do make a trade though for Levine and they get beat in the second round, does Joel even stay? Like, now that's that a different question. That's a different question. Now, if they make a trade to upgrade this roster and they, and still, they still lose, lose yeah, yeah. then it's worse. <laughs> no, nah, that's worse. But yeah. I'm saying we that's hella see. predicting and forecasting, but like yeah, hella like I, future I, second. And, round, and like, it also depends who they trade for. Like yeah, if the, if bro. they trade for one role player like OG and nothing else, I'll like, put my I'm luck not on the 76ers not winning this year. <laughs> okay, I mean you're not wrong, but I'm, <laughs> they're not. This is not. I mean I can put my left nut on 2019 not winning, like and I'll be right. So. Shit, I, I get to keep my left nut twenty nine <laughs> out of thirty times. So That's, it's yeah. it's facts, facts. Like as far as the Clippers though, like I don't think they necessarily have to win the championship for him to stay, but they gotta like make a run or something. They gotta get to the conference finals yeah, at least. At least. Yeah. Which is hard. Which is hard. It is hard, <laughs> but is hard. if you make the conference the finals. The Celtics or the Bucks finish one and two. Yeah. But, but if you get there and you beat one of them out, that yeah. probably gives them enough confidence to that this team upsets is happen. Yeah, upsets yeah. happen. Yeah. Look at the Heat. Possibly. <laughs> Look at the uh, Heat. Every series. No, every every time they play. Yeah. In the terms part. of the Clippers, though, yeah, we can move on to the Clippers. We part. can put a question mark. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about the Clippers yeah, a little bit because I don't know how they're gonna. They can't play all four of them at the same time. Right. right. That's will. what I'm thinking. Do you think yeah, Russ? I think the only option is Russ being benched. Yeah, but they will at when it comes to the optics. You can you can do it for. They're gonna start them like they're all gonna start. No, 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 no. Russ is going back to the bench. Right now, right now, right now, I think they're all starting for now. But I think what's for now? How many? I don't know, but I think Tyloo's. Good enough. Probably uh, five games. I give it five <laughs> games. I'm <laughs> not even joking. Westbrook off the bench. Like Westbrook off the bench, he's giving been, energy. He's like come off him the bench already, Island. So. Yeah. So I think that he, him having that type of energy and knowing where he is in his career, will help. Does Bones start right now? He needs to come off the bench too, no, bro. Bones needs to come off no. the bench also. You just put in yeah. like um, Terrence Mann should start. He'll be a better like fit. They've but kept yeah, on to sure, that. Sure, they have sure. kept on to that for way too long. <laughs> no, no. He's but they're scared player, of though. they're scared of like an SGA being happening. He's a great again. role player. He's like they've a, had a good sample. He's twenty seven, bro. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Give it up. He's a late player. He's a poor man, OJ Ananobi. Very poor. Yeah, very poor. Yeah, yeah. I, that's right. Borderline I homeless. Broke. But <laughs> he broke. <laughs> I said borderline but homeless. The thing I'm, I'm more scared about is uh, <laughs> what James Harden said of him saying, "I'm not a system player. I am a system." Like, dude, you're 34 years old. Like, the mindset is the biggest thing to him for winning. Like, you got to know where you're at in your career. If he knows that all he has to do is be like a Chris Paul esque type of player and get everybody involved and let everyone flourish and then yeah. get yours and be like a thirteen and twelve type of guy, this team can win a championship. They nice. have a, that level of play. But if he's trying to ISO between between step back <laughs> like and have Kawhi and PG take a backseat to him, that's not gonna work. You gotta realize who you are as a player in your career, or else you're gonna be out the league next year. Fact. He has an he's on an expiring contract. Like no team wants that and. Uh, 
what's he called? He's been on five teams in four years. Yeah. That's a record. Like, <laughs> people need to talk to him how to get traded because obviously he knows what he's doing to get traded. Like, yeah, five teams in four sure. years. Like, this is not a way for you to stay in the NBA and people are going to see you as a bad locker room Damaging guy. Damaging his legacy, too. Bro. Really? Oh, uh, no. His legacy is solid, solid, well, solidified, cemented, but yeah. like, it looks bad. But it's tarnishing. It's like, it's yeah. tarnishing it a little bit. People like, don't remember him for this. They'll remember him for his historic facts, But it's just sure. like. Yeah, I, I just but, don't like. I agree with you with the comments. Like those are just distasteful comments because, like in Houston and even to a degree in Brooklyn, it's understandable because yeah. he's that type of player. Like he's elite MVP candidate. So Brooklyn was he, understandable. Yeah, yeah. He is the system in those situations, fully understandable. But he's at the point in his career where he has to like learn to adapt to play with different star players because he's just gonna be on a team with other stars. He, there's yeah. no, he's we're past the point order. where he there's is a the star order. player. I think right? Ty Lue will will set everybody straight in terms of uh, egos. You got to know yeah, that Kawhi's your so. guy. Hopefully PG's Kawhi and guy. PG tell him, like, dude, yeah, like, I know you just came here. Like, Everybody that's been to the Clippers have had a good, like, say for the team, and they understand what's going on. Even Westbrook knew he's the third option going into that team. And he yeah. got a, he took, old, like, only $3 million this year. Yeah. Like, he, he knows what's up. I just don't know he, Harden's he, like that. Like, I think I think they'll get him. Westbrook's straight. been playing kind of like, he's had a, a lot of dumb mistakes so far this that's year. That's him, though. That's, but, his whole, like, that's yeah, him, though. <laughs> when it comes to, like, his his efficiency and his, like, effectiveness, playing good. he's still been playing pretty good. Yeah, he's been making the three ball, too. He's been playing really good this year, so. So I think him coming off the bench will give the team, like, a lot of energy, and then Finishing the game. As long as you make his mindset like, know. oh, I want to finish games, not start games. That that's their best lineup. Those four him, and, and like him finishing is a friendly. risk, though, in my opinion. No, like, no, as much best. as I no, love no, no, Westbrook, that's your best five. That's your best five, regardless. Dude, no, 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 he no, make, no, no, his no, no, his no, mistakes no. and his inability of shooting scare me. You can't have for the him Clippers. and Harden on the court. At the same same that's what I'm saying. To finish games, to finish. I I don't think you can. I think you need to have the three. You know, Harden, Paul George, Kawhi, and then figure out what you need. Based on the team you're versing, adaptability I mean, wise, some games he could close. With some him, games, but so it not depends. Game. Like you can't have if if you're gar- if you're playing a big man, like you can't have Zubac, James Harden, and Westbrook. Th- that's you're gonna be playing two on five essentially when Kawhi has the ball. It's bad. Like it's, it's gonna be well, bad. I mean, Westbrook has to be the odd man out. Like he needs to know this going into it. Like Harden, yeah, yeah. PG, and Kawhi are the solidified big three for your facts. roster. Yeah. Facts, facts. And like if he can buy into that and knowing where he is in his career. Like, I don't understand these guys as a type of... I know you've been the best though. player. Egos. Though. No, the Egos Egos are still the pretty... Lakers. Okay, of and he course. didn't like it, though. But he was playing good, though, wasn't he? He didn't like it at all. Hey. Dude, he didn't even dap the guys up during the game. He was hey. sitting on the other side. That's it's mentality. obviously bad tension and blood mentality. mentality. <laughs> but these guys, the Eagles are kind of insane. I know you've been the best player throughout your career, high school, college, since you were a kid. But you got to understand where you are in your career also. Like, even star players that are the best, like Stephen Curry, LeBron James... They don't have eagles like these guys. Bro, do. LeBron literally doesn't want to be the best player anymore. He's <laughs> yeah. literally like, hey, 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 please, please, please yeah, Anthony yeah. Davis. He wants to play freaking thirty minutes a <laughs> He's night. He's too good. He's just, this is him. Bro, Westbrook took yeah. three million Maybe years. Maybe it's just he who they are. He, he people, just wants but. to win now. Westbrook wants to win. He'll do whatever it takes. I hope so. I hope you're right. I don't know about Harden though. That, no, like, yeah, I, that's can, what I agree. I with can that. see Westbrook doing Westbrook, what he needs to do. Westbrook's already taking that role by by taking less money and coming off agreeing to come off yeah. the bench. Like, that's already a step in the right direction. Harden, maybe mentality wise, he doesn't, but play wise, it's always been to win. Games. I don't know. But his I, mentality's I, been a problem, like for the past. Yeah, he hasn't changed his play style on any of the five teams. But he's it's always been on. elevated them though. Every single team he's played on has his play. They've style gotten better, them. but I'm saying like he hasn't in in this situation. He's gonna have to adjust his play style because in the other situations. He's at the very least been a two. In this situation, he's at the most the number three option. So yep. he's gonna have to adjust his play style, and he hasn't done that on any of the five teams he's been on. Obviously, the first couple ones you don't need to because he was the star player. But these last two stops, I, think I mean, Philly, I think Philly he did what he needed to and, do. And today. honestly, honestly, that's two. Like he, I, I know in the in the playoffs he was you know getting buckets, he was scoring a lot. But throughout the year he, he was, was he was, the playoffs, but. he was hurt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Throughout the year though, he was um. That's like the Nets is where he started being more just straight point guard, you know, yeah, like that's the last because on the Rockets, obviously he was, you know, putting up a million points. Yeah. But I, on his stints with the with Brooklyn <laughs> and with uh, Philly, he was going more towards the twenty and he was average twenty and eleven, you know, twenty yeah. and ten. So I feel like if he can, obviously maybe not average twenty, considering there's so many people on this team right. Well, not so many people, but there's Kawhi and PG. Right. But if, if he can, if he can get a sixteen and ten, like th- I think that will put them. Barring health, it's not, the only reason I feel like they will never make it is health. I think that at the end of the day, like they're not gonna finish. But having this piece, then like Kawhi just them played it back to back for like the first yeah, time. They, they in know years. what's up. Yeah, yeah, his knees, his knees probably look but like fucking. Fall he, off the also, ball getting Harden 
allows these players to rest and them still competing to win games. Like I'll, I'll say everybody that everybody can rest. Regular right. season, that you're gonna get. You can rest these guys now because yeah. you got Harden, and he can go out there with either one of them, or maybe even just him and Westbrook, and can get you two wins on some yeah. nights. So, so we'll regular we'll season wise, it's a big dub. I'll, I'll, I'll agree with you on that. They did, should be fine. Did you guys see that graphic for like the title contending odds? Them getting higher. Like are they not a contender? They though? went to one. I don't no, know. No, they went to like they, tw- they went like twelve percent from like four or like three. They jumped. The they jumped from like five to one or something. At their crazy. best, they at win. their best, they can win it all. all, be all we've been saying that for the Clippers but forever. They're, they're yeah, still not yeah. better. I don't think they're still. I still don't think they're better than the. The Celtics, Celtics are way better the than Celtics them. The Celtics are way better than them. Like I think and there's the a gap. I think there's a gap between them. For position. No, I'm taking the Celtics clear. Celtics for position. Clear. They clear the the position. Drew Holiday or James Harden. Drew Holiday. Depends on what you need for the tough. team, though, right? No, in their situation, like, no, but I mean, if like, Drew Holiday was on the Celtics, he'd be better. I mean, James Harden can Clippers, impact the team more than the, Drew Holiday can. The Clippers at, be- at their best. The Clippers would be better off with Drew Holiday than James Harden. Oh yeah, but it's not even. Yeah. But it's Another two way demon. But yeah. but it's not even. That's not the same comparison. with the Celtics. The comparison is is damn near Westbrook and Drew because they I mean, oh. right now. Yeah, because right now, uh, but James Porzingis is looking great. And the two wings versus the two wings. Yeah, but you're not choosing Porzingis over Kawhi Leonard. Well, we don't know what we. No, but you're choosing Tatum and Brown versus Kawhi. PG and PG is pretty comparable. It's close. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That I like know. cancels out, and then yeah, the rest of the team. Out. But the other niggas is young and healthy. I'm taking the rest <laughs> of the Celtics. <laughs> it's close though. It is close. They can compete. No, Derek Celtics White is better is than any. No, Derek White is Derek, better than yeah, any Derek other player is a, on, is a, on. Derek White yeah, shits yeah, on yeah, a lot yeah, of people. We got to We got to I'll give you that. Derek White shits on a lot of players. Taking Payton Pritchard, bro. Like no, no. The Clippers bench. He played pretty decent. How's that? Nah, they stink. This other white dude that jumped. They did get Cornet. Cornet. It'll be hey, a close be, matchup. That would, be, that, that would be good to watch. I think the Celtics are better, though. Uh, definitely in a starting really, lineup. I think they've been the best team in the N- NBA right now. Celtics. For sure. They, they've been, yeah. they they just had two 50, back-to-back 50, yeah. 50 bombs. Like, yeah, I don't even Tatum know hasn't played in the fourth quarter two games. I think the Bucks beat them, too, in my opinion, if they were to play. I think uh, the Bucks, Bucks have had issues. They've had issues, but if I had to choose a team to win in that game, I'm picking the Bucks. More so than I'm picking the Clippers right now in that scenario. Oh, with the Clippers? Okay. Then the watch. Clippers. This will be an yeah, experiment. Yeah, what, what was that? Like, in that case, I wouldn't want to judge them versus the Bucks until we actually see them. I yeah, feel like probably. I could say, say the Celtics are probably better, but when yeah. it comes to the Clippers versus Bucks, because the Bucks have been struggling, so I would rather. Clippers at their play. best would be. Nuggets are better than them, too. I, I'd pick For Nuggets. Sure. Dude, h- how the are they cruising yeah. still, bro? Like, it's. I know they it's got, but like, good team. Well, it's not just. Like, they no. fit, they, the they're the, they have the best fit team in the league. I, I swear, think. man, it's every crazy. position is perfect. Jamal Murray with the pick <laughs> and roll. <laughs> Nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> no, but Jamal right, Murray pick and roll with Jokic, dude, perfect. Aaron Gordon oh. on the cuts and and the, and just being that glue it's guy, insane. hustle Dunker guy, spot, perfect. KCP, bro, watch, D, watching perfect. them play as a Laker fan Everybody pisses me off because. They're a, oh, I'm, I'm glazing so hard. They're a well-oiled machine, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. but am I wrong, though? Can, no, like, system, am I wrong? The system's amazing, and Jokic... I is mean, also amazing. Jokic, even, is, even Jokic off the bench, is a system. Even yeah. off the bench, yeah. they've had enough contributions this year where it's like Reggie Jackson's had games, even Peyton Watson, Christian he's Brown. he's getting it on defense. Chris Brown's a dog game. on that team. Yeah, like, yeah. dude, like, what? Like, oh. Everybody knows their role, so that's yeah. why they won games. Now, well, no calls. The is, is when niggas get a deep bomb and there's an open... Oh my! <laughs> free, 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 fifty yards. Going to kill free, fifty oh yards. They throw it sometimes just for it, and then like Josh Allen special. Ah, no, I'm just talking about like uh, when my fantasy player scores a touchdown and it's like holding because the offensive lineman like yeah, grabs like saying, yeah. a, 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 this much away. of the other player's yeah, shirt. Yeah, I'm when like, the offensive lineman sells a big play, dude, like that shit makes it matters, me so mad. Dude, like, that's the funny thing. Like that, that little so touch angry, matters dude, for like, a huge play. But they they be letting some stuff go. They be calling. No, the worst the worst ones is like third and like twenty eight. They convert it and it's a hold. That's that's just a back breaking play right there. That that's the type of play that loses you like just walk off the field. Yeah. Everybody just walk home. Yeah, you know right. the very next play is like a one yard run just because they're like done with the <laughs> yeah. Do you want to do possession. the first on me? <laughs> no, we'll do that last. Okay. All right. So we have. Uh, <laughs> of course you want to talk. About oh, what's the game? What's the game? Introduce okay. the game. So, talk to the game and talk closely to your mic, please. Dude, I'm right next to you. You do, but I promise you, it doesn't. You don't like. It's not. I'm like not gonna put it right. I have these for a reason, but deep throat the mic. All right. Yeah. I can just lower you if you want to deep throat it, bro. Just let me know. You know. All right. So. We're going to do a buy or sell on these NBA teams according to the five games or six games some of these players have played or some of these teams have played. Do you have their records on there? Yeah, I have their records on there. So I chose five teams that we can talk about and see if you guys – are you guys going to – do you guys think that they will continue to win or lose games throughout the rest of the season? Yeah, buy or sell. Well, they're definitely going to win and lose some games. (laughs) (laughs) Do you think they're going to keep their momentum? (laughs) Their momentum. I'm just joking, yeah. So the first team I have right now is the Dallas Mavericks. They're they are four and one. A lot, mm. Their first loss came tonight to the to Nuggets. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go buy. I liked what I seen from them
you know, showing all the MVP candidacy. Luka team. We yeah. talk about off camera a lot. I mean, he's probably number one front runner for MVP. Um, the supporting pieces, I'm not like too impressed with them, but I think they're doing enough. Derek Lively, he still has some foul trouble and some young rookie mistakes where he's not playable in certain situations because he also can't shoot and he gets into foul trouble a lot. But he's helpful in those situations where there is another big and you need a rim running center. Um, he's shown good energy. He's given him another just dynamic that they didn't have before. So, you know, even though he's not impacting every game, now you have that option at least to go to him. You know, you got Seth Curry back. You got a little more shooting. Tim Hardaway is shooting well this season. So I- I'm going to buy on them. I'm not I'm not buying on them to, like, necessarily, like, make a run or anything. But I think before this, I had him as, like, a low tier, possibly missing the playoffs. But I think they could – they'll make the playoffs this year from what I've seen so far. I'll buy on that. I'm also going to buy on the Dallas Mavericks. I think the only way that they were going to win this year or be in contention is through Luka having a crazy season, which he is having right now. I like the pickup of Grant Williams and what he's contributed to the team. Him too, yep. As long as uh, Kyrie, him and Kyrie have a good one-two punch, I think they're gonna. That's gonna just keep getting better, and I, I, th- I think they'll be around the six-five range this year. Probably me too. Yeah. So yeah, that's a good buy. Four and one is a great record for them to start, and I think they'll continue the momentum. So. I'm also gonna buy, but I have a little like reluctance in this i think it is a kind of a toss-up in my opinion while they have been very very good this starting off luca has been playing exceptional which luca somehow does every season starts but i can also see this team falling down a little bit not too much not like a third fourth or fifth seed maybe like a seventh or eighth seed in my opinion as the season goes on as you know teams start like you know figuring out this one-two punch all the shooters Locking them down, playing like, you know, containing Luca as much as they could. Because if they do, I think that's how they start slipping up if Luca stops, you know, playing at a god tier level. Yeah. But I will buy on them to make a good uh, good season as well. I'll say one thing about them. They haven't really played like a crazy team. I think they beat the Bulls, the Nets, the Grizzlies, uh, and the Spurs. Mm-hmm. Um, so those are their wins so Spurs far. Spurs are good. Losing to the Nuggets. All right, man, relax. <laughs> uh, they, they have been decent, but we'll get to them later probably. Um, so they haven't had like a signature win against like another contending team. They lost to the Nuggets today, but I, I'm not really too concerned. I'm more so looking at how they play ball as a unit. Their defense still questionable, which is why I can't buy on them really doing anything in the postseason. But I think they're probably going to make the playoffs just yeah. off the strength of their offense alone. And by uh, in terms of them being better than what the, we thought they were. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah then definitely. Yeah. I'm going by because I definitely had them in the playoffs. So I think that they'll be a playoff team. I yeah. think that. You know, in in the terms, I would say so, just because I don't think obviously four and one and stuff like they're like top of the the freaking the uh, standings right now. I don't think they're gonna be top of the standings. I do think they'll also be like around five or six, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but um, they are looking good, and I think they'll they'll continue to look good and better than what a lot of people thought they were, especially based off of last year where they were. So I think that uh, I'm gonna have to buy. All right, the next team, the Memphis Grizzlies, they're oh, winless. <laughs> They're all, what do you think six. I'm going to say, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you, think that, six? you think that they'll pick it up? Or would you well, think yeah. they're still going to keep losing I mean, games? I mean, when they get job yeah, back, I, like I you ex- have to buy. Yeah, I mean, I, when they get job back, I expect them to kind of bounce back. But the thing, the problem is, though, like, they're going to be in such a big hole when he comes back. Like, obviously, he's going to play and stuff, but it's just going to be hard to climb out of it because you're going to win a lot more games, but then, you know, you're going to be, what, 10 and I don't know how many games exactly, 25 games, so 10 and 15 at the best-case scenario. Like, you're going to lose games naturally then. <laughs> 10 and 15 is – they're already halfway to that loss. They're sick. Yeah. No, but seriously, though, like, you know, you're going to lose some games even with draw in the lineup just because there's other teams better than you. You're just going to lose naturally. Teams, you know, are going to outplay you. Yeah. So you're not only going to have to keep pace with the rest of the league, like not only maintain 500, you're going to have to go significantly above that to have a winning record this year. So I'll buy on them being better than they are right now because they haven't won a game. Yeah. Um, And they have – There, there's been – like, from what I've seen, I haven't can't say I've tuned into too many Grizzlies games. They've been getting blown out a lot. But they have shown some flashes. Some of their players have shown me a good amount. The problem is, though, a lot of injuries and the depth of this team is hurting. Uh, it, it, they, it's very clear to me they're missing Tyus Jones, Kyle Anderson, yeah, De'Anthony nice. Melton, all these guys they've had in years past. Yeah. It hurts, it's hurting them a lot. Is Clark playing? Uh, no, he's, no, he's, he's out not too. playing he's either. Hurt. Steven Adams out for the year, and obviously Ja and... Even with these guys coming back, even if Jaw was playing, even if Steven Adams were playing, even if uh, Brandon Clark was playing, I still think they're lacking depth when it comes to the bigger picture. But, yeah, I mean, I'm buying them in terms of not having zero wins, but, <laughs> yeah. I, you know, well, it's going to be tough. 
I am selling on this team. I don't think the Man. Grizzlies will make the playoffs anymore. I think uh, with this start and the way that other Western Conference teams have been um, playing, I think that with with or without job, these guys and these niggas are not coming back, bro. They're not. <laughs> they're not uh, the team I thought they were this year. I think I thought Des- Desmond Bain's doing his part in carrying the team, but they just keep losing games and just lost to the Portland Trailblazers, which is clearly by far a worse yeah. team. And I think that the chemistry, even when Jaw comes back, the chemistry Sounds is going to be shot. I don't think that they're going to be as good as they could be with uh, John Morant because he's missed. I don't think he was able to do training camp either, right? Like No, he he's was. Missed, he's, he can he be was? in the facility. He just can't. Okay, so yeah. he couldn't do it. Uh, he's just not playing. So, yeah, yeah I think when that. He comes, yeah. When he's uh, out for suspension, I'm pretty sure like he'll be ready to go, according to what I've seen. So. Okay, yeah. Well, but I, still, I, yeah, I, think I agree with the point. Pick yeah. it up and get back into NBA shape and level. So I, I think uh, with the other teams performing that they are um, – the Grizzlies will not make the playoffs this year. I'm also going to sell selling. for the same reason. I think um, even if Ja does come back and flip the script, pretty much what Bez said, he's going to have to like play a. He's going to have to play like not even a 500 team. He has to play like like a MVP level. He has to damn near carry this team back from like below the dirt, like six feet under, pretty much. And even if he does do that, I still don't think he's going to get it all the way. If they miss playoffs, that's why I'm selling on them. So I'm selling on them for that very reason. If they miss playoffs, then he didn't get it done. They need to get some wins. Like I need to see them. I mean. To the Blazers, Bez. Today to the Blazers. <laughs> yeah. I literally said, I was like, the Blazers are the worst team in the league. They have no depth, bro. Yeah. And it's like, they Wizards already... Might be worse. They yeah, already... The Wizards are probably worse. They already... Yeah, no, <laughs> Wiz- no, 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 no. I forgot no, Jordan Poole existed. No, 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 no. no. Hey, don't get me started on that team. I hate... I, I cannot stand <laughs> watching the fucking Washington Wizards. <laughs> Wizards fans, it's all gonna be a long season. I'm sorry. You guys might set the record for most points dropped on a team multiple times this year. You see that lob? Uh, the one-handed lob uh, when they're down the, by the 20? Oh, yeah. Board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, the turnaround, the Dude. slow, casual turnaround. Let me, on let me tell you this right now. And he got blocked. Let me tell you that uh, that Celtics game. If the Celtics played their starters like a normal game, they would have dropped 180 points in regular. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> I, I promise you. I believe you. I promise. It was ugly. Like the, the, I think. What did they have? I think they had. We could check. Two games in a row, the opposing team had like 80 plus at halftime. Yeah, we know who they, they they're going to be terrible. Yeah. We already knew yeah. this. Uh, I just, it. I just, That's I, it's so funny. I, I watched them today and it's just like layup lines, dude. Yeah, it's just no ugly basketball. Yeah. I, yeah. I tried tuning in to see if Poole and Kuzma would cook, but it's just, I can't watch the other side. Like, it's too bad. Well, people are scoring like 120 points each by the, like, the third quarter ending. That's what I'm I saw the Suns all. and Spurs game the other day. It was like at 110 or 111, the third, end of the third. I'm like, Damn. It's I know it's been like that, bro. Yeah. When I'm looking, I'm like, bro, what the fuck no, is going on? That's honest. every game of the week. I, I know, I know. But it's just like when I re when I rewatch again, I'm like, what the fuck is always It'll slow down that? as the year goes on too, I think. Yeah. yeah. Except with them. They're gonna continue to do that. Yeah. But Next um, team. Wait, I didn't even Oh, sorry. But I'm <laughs> trying to <laughs> I'm trying to think because the Grizzlies. I do agree when it comes to uh No, you did buy on the Grizzlies. No, I didn't say anything yet. Oh. Sorry, go ahead, my fault. <laughs> but um Yeah, when it comes when it comes to the Grizzlies, I think from best best's perspective, I do obviously think like when it comes to like they're as low as they could possibly be right now, they're definitely gonna raise up. But when it comes to their expectations, I do agree that it's a sell. Um, yeah, I no, think I that it's yeah. it's tough to think that they are gonna come back and and make the runs that they need to make when the West has just progressively gotten stronger. Yeah. Uh, over just the past year, and um, Ja, I mean he's general he's. They're I guess already three Jaws games amazing. Out of the yeah, like right now they're three <laughs> games out of the plan in yeah. first two weeks of the season. They just have and to s- hope to make it to the plan and make it. Dude, if yeah. they go five yeah, and, and some, twenty, I'm in gonna some, cry. In some ways, like you know, the Lakers did start two and ten last season, you know, and they managed to turn around and get to the plans. So context, though. yeah, no, it's still well, context. context they're also getting a star they're getting players. John Moran back, yeah. you know, like not just some yeah, better role right. players. You know, who knows what moves they try to make at the trade deadline. They should definitely make yeah, it. Yeah, so... 100%. I do think that they still have hope, obviously, but, you know, it's it may be far-fetched, so I'm going to also go with the sell. Yeah. Old six is a very bad sell. Yeah, I'm going to say they definitely need to make moves. These young players like Zaire Williams, uh, David Roddy, Jake LaRavia, they're cool, and, like, they, it's worked for them in the past trying to develop these guys, but I think it's at a time where you kind of know your core pieces already. Like, you don't have to wait and wait for all these guys to develop. You can start to trade some of the young pieces and the picks that they've never traded any picks. They've all developed their guys homegrown, drafted these dudes. So they gotta start they gotta start working the phones and start, you know, getting some help for this team. Cause right now, like they don't have enough. And even when John comes back, I don't think they have enough. So I forgot they had smart on that team. I did it. He did yeah. He did <laughs> what is he gonna do? No, but when Jock comes back, that's gonna be really good. Like Marcus as far as like your like defending like yeah, guard. As your lead guard right now, it's awful. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. 
Yeah, so D-Rose there too. D-Rose. Yeah. Yeah, D-Rose, he's, he's D-Rose, 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 D-Rose. D-Rose. He's hurt. Yeah. All right. So the next team is the Warriors. They are five and one. Sell. You can start. Hustle. You can start. Sell. 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 I am going to buy on the words. I think they're going to do better than the fourth seed. I actually think they'll finish second or first this year. Are you chipping? Oh, my God. (laughs) Let me get the the glazing Uh, gif. Let me get the glazing gif. Hold on. (laughs) Let me go on. I think this is probably the best team that we've had since uh, the deepest team. I'm sorry. Deepest team that we've had since. I haven't even said since when. Is he serious? Yeah, since since when. when. (laughs) The championship? (laughs) Okay, since when? Yeah, since the championship. Which championship? Last year's. Or two years ago. This team is better than the championship of your team. <laughs> I don't like, think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. Yeah. Wiggins is playing way better. Team. We fill in every – everybody's locked into the system. We fill in every role that we need to. Um, everyone's selfless. Andrew Wiggins doesn't even need to finish games anymore. We'll finish the games with GP2. Uh, Kevin Looney doesn't even play the whole fourth quarter. We finished with CP. CP's fine coming off the bench, filling in roles. I think we're – Sarge was a great pickup for us. Sarge was a great pickup. Yeah, yeah he was good. Stretches the floor. Um him and GP2, Kaminga and Moody obviously took a better, a bigger leap. We actually have bench points, and the biggest thing is that we fill in the non-Steph minutes. That's always been the biggest thing for years. When we had Sean Livingston and we were winning championships, he was the one who was filling in those minutes. Mm-hmm. And now we have Chris Paul filling in those minutes. Every role is um, figured out from the bench pieces. So I think we have uh, Clay Thompson looks better. These guys even want to take a night off, like Clay or Steph. We still have uh, CP in. Our rookie was able to do good. I forget his name. <laughs> <laughs> forget how to pronounce his name. Are we, are we gonna be allowed to air oh, this? Oh, not poker shit. Are we gonna be allowed to air this? Is a lot of dick sucking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's allowed on YouTube. I like the I like how we're finishing games in the clutch too. We're um, the way we're finishing games Gold within tendon? two minutes. <laughs> <Gold> <laughs> no, <laughs> What about that clay clay shot? Thirty one. Bro, stop back to that winner. game winners. Oh my god, walk yeah, off, walk that's off. That's good enough because once we play uh, one better game teams, winner, I'm not counting that like, shit yet. Once we play uh, good teams and we need to finish out games, I know what we have. And um, Steph not playing or Steph not needing to play as well to carry us into victories is a good sign for us too. So Keep everything that we've missed with like or everything that we needed to correct like turnovers, bench points, and non Steph minutes, I think we fill that out this year. And we don't even need him to beat. Worst teams because we have Chris Paul to help us do that. So I think we're going to win games when these guys are resting and we're going to finish the games, uh, finish in a higher seed. So I'm buying. So I think the Warriors will finish number two or one this year and not four. I like I like what Hudson said. Uh, I'm going to go next. Uh, I'm also going to buy on them, to be honest. Uh, if I was laughing at him, he may, may have believed something else. But I do believe the Warriors, uh, I didn't think they were going to be this good. I know it's been like a week and a half. But I did have them fourth or fifth in my preseason rankings. The fact that they're already, you know, the best team in the West, right? Or the top two? Uh, two now. Yeah. Two. Um, if the or Warriors... Tied for one. This, this is also contingent on the bye that they that Curry stays healthy. If Curry goes down any moment of this time, the whole the, I think the whole team falls apart. how long he goes down Facts, 100%. It's over. If he misses... Hustle, well, I'm talking... No, 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 no. I'm saying if he misses like 15 to, tw- like 15 to 20 games, no, which is 60... They, they can keep it going. I don't think so. I don't think so either. I think that ga- those games he's gone is right. What, what do you mean keep going? And like, they're also going to lose games while he plays as well. So make the playoffs. What do you think the record is? Seventh or eighth seed. Seventh or eighth seed. Twenty. Probably like if he misses twenty games, the like West what would the stacked. record be? The West is stacked. What do you think? Buddy. How would they do in those twenty games? Or just in general? Yeah, no, in those twenty. Probably like, win like eight games out of twenty. Okay, okay, okay. So you okay? So like below I, five, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Under five hundred. No, okay. Yeah. I thought I thought you meant like they'd be like jaw tight. Because they're nah, also gonna yeah. they're also gonna lose against regular teams with Curry. You know, like it's not gonna be a perfect yeah. season. Yeah, exactly. So. It's a yes. If he stays healthy, yes. I, I'm fully buying in because, I mean, mm-hmm. they, I, I predicted them. that for every single team in the NBA. Uh, no, healthy teams don't win games like the Warriors. No, I'm saying, like, if you lose your best player, you're not going to do as well. well depends well, on the now, team. Obviously, every team, if they yeah, lose so their best that's player. That's what I'm but, saying. Um, the Suns. But <laughs> I think it's more so for this, uh, the War, uh, Warriors because he is, like, the whole system, basically. Like, it's just going to be hard to do. The system revolves without. around him. He's, he could, he's the type of person. Yeah. He's the only guy that can say that I am the system. But Yoke. I'm gonna. This is tough because like, Luca. I I don't want to buy them, but I don't want to like sell them. <laughs> um, Where did you have them in your preseason? That'd be a good ju- basis. Why, yeah. Did like you have them like seventh or, or eighth? Like seventh or something. So I guess I'll buy. Off those yeah. parameters, it'd no, be like a you buy. Sell. You sell if you predicted them eighth, and they're like damn near first. Yeah, so you'd buy. So no, he's saying he didn't know better. where to pick them. So he's like, I asked him where did he rank them in the preseason. Oh, yeah. oh, so he sure. thinks he's gonna do better. Based sure, off sure, those, like, I get that. I get that. Um, yeah, so. I guess I'll – I don't anticipate them being, like, a top three C, like Hudson thinks, but I don't see them being as low as I initially thought. I think they'll finish somewhere from four to six is okay. the range. That's good. Um, 
I just think I agree a lot with the points you said in the non Steph minutes. They've looked a lot better. Like when mm-hmm. Steph is off the court now, the offense is able to function and remain stable and they're not blowing leads every time he leaves the court. So that's definitely a big plus. I disagree with the fact that you said this team is the deepest team you guys <laughs> have had since the championship. Yeah. Chris Paul gives you a lot off the bench for sure, but he's kind of the reason that your team feels deep. I don't really like Kuminga's gotten better, but I still think he has a ways to go. There's a lot of things he still does that I, you know, still makes mistakes. Still, I, I've seen him not, you know, shoot well at times. Moses Moody, I think, has looked better than him in my opinion. I, um, me too. I, I think they both made a jump this year, though. They did, but I, I, I don't know if playoff basketball if they're quite made that jump yet that's why i'm not sure but i think you know they could get it done the regular season and chris paul does a good job of setting those guys up so i think yeah i don't want to say like they didn't make a jump but i think the, the 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 reason it feels like they made such a big jump is because of chris paul and the effect he has he's done this every team he's been on he elevates all the players um and the team as a whole so now that it's just kind of transferring to the warriors so i definitely agree with you that you know, they're looking a lot better than I anticipated, but I wouldn't say, like, they haven't shown me anything that makes me, like, over the moon for them, mm. but they have impressed me, if that makes sense. So I'm not, you know, I'm kind of, like, holding them. You know, I wouldn't sell or buy them. I would hold them, you know, at this point, or I guess I would buy off of my preseason. Yeah, um, yeah they've looked better than I thought, but I still want to see them against certain matchups. I want to see, you know, this in-season tournament will be good because – you know, it started today. We didn't really talk about that, but just know. the atmosphere, especially when these like seating games are done, because it's I think five. It's like pool play or whatever. Yeah, pool, yeah. Five games in the in the pool in the, your team's pool, and then you go into the tournament. And so, you know, even some of the games today, they felt like playoff atmosphere games. I was watching the Indiana Pacers game because I just love watching the Pacers this year. Mm. Um, I hope you have them on. I'm gonna buy the fuck out of them. <laughs> Um, but they were just, uh, Miles Turner was talking about how, like, this is a good uh, playoff atmosphere. That's how it felt when they were playing the game. So I'm not sure if every game will be like that just because of some of the opponents. But, you know, if some teams can get that type of feel and the tournament starts to go like that, it's yet to be seen. You know, it's the first time they're doing it, but I've liked what I've seen so far. So we'll see if those young players, how they fare in those tournament games. That's what I really want to see. Yeah. Uh, just change the court, please. I'm going. I'm going. Yeah, it's hideous. Selling doing a say yeah, cause I mean I I had them fourth, and I still feel like they're gonna be fourth. Like I don't see, I don't see them. So hold, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> hoddle, hoddle. It's cause right, hoddle. I guess in, in playing terms playing. of what they're doing right now, yeah, so you would sell. I would sell just because I don't think they're they're gonna finish Second this strong. Seed, yeah. yeah, like they've lot they've been beating up on the Kings who they just have their number and <laughs> mediocre teams. Uh, you know they lost to the Suns. You know, they so I guess I do want to see them against the top team because the teams above them, I think, will beat them. I think the Lakers will still beat them. You know, we've yeah. seen what they did to them in the playoffs, Nuggets put them, still sent them, them niggas to sleep. Uh, Nuggets definitely beat them. The Suns already beat them once this year. So I feel like if they can get wins off of those three teams, and not just those three teams, but if they can compete with the, the top East teams as well, uh, we'll just have to see. But I don't think they will, so that's why I'm selling from at least from where they're at right now. Um, I, I'm, on a worries, like I'm kind of just like they've kind of quelled my regular season concerns, but I still have concerns like as a whole in the long term. But in a regular season, like all the concerns I had in the in the preseason kind of calmed down. I just I, I still have concerns like you know winning a championship wise, but regular season they'll be fine. I ain't worried about them anymore. So I want to see Chris Paul with this team in the playoffs. What he does, yeah. what like what is what he's gonna be. I know he's a floor raiser it's and all that stuff. I want to see the with, I want to see who he's gonna play with and how they're gonna work. Cause like like based on what you said with Moody and Kaminga, if he gets them rolling and that group like, cause I don't I don't expect them playing too much. Cause his run like the Warriors run and gun style of sh- like playing doesn't fit Chris Paul right. Half court setting, pick and roll, like work like that. With Kuminga and Moody like playing with them, I could see that working. But like you were saying, I don't see the like the crazy jump to playoff basketball level that they're gonna need to be. Yeah, the thing is too, like when it comes to playoff, the rotations always get shortened, shorter. And teams get more chances to lock in on certain things you're doing, and I just don't know how the young players will adjust yeah. to those like times where you you're not seeing a team once. Adjustments, like, the adjustments. Yeah, you're you're not gonna catch anymore. a team off guard. I Three mean, years. They're in the third Four, season and they yeah. made, a, still they made a championship still run. Young. No, I mean they're, they're not so young. NBA young. The three years is enough for you to see they're young, who you are. As they're a young men. And not <laughs> okay. They're young as in terms of age, but in terms of basketball experience and playoff experience, they they have enough experience to know what 
they need to do. Moody and Kuminga Moody play, played experience. Well. They played more games yeah. than damn near a lot of the players. But just because the, the first team, year, the first year, like they've been a part of the roles. They nah, the first like no, Curry. No, no, no. That's like Curry in the in the finals year. They didn't have roles. Yes, they, did. they didn't have real roles. They did. They barely real played. Ones, yes, they barely played. Moody no, played last year. They spot played minutes. Moody was like spot yeah, minutes. Okay, like, that's not the same. Is that is that a role? Yeah, because they're gonna keep doing that. They're gonna play spot minutes. You're not gonna play because y'all had y'all had JP minutes a game. Impactful things. They Moody had an impactful game. Multiple Bruh. impactful games. Multiple. He had moments. Yeah. Last, last year, moments. Last year, yeah, 2022. No, I wouldn't say he had games. Role. You're giving Moody games. You're giving fact, Moody. Games. Okay, but they. Pl- my point is that what they series? Played what games. series are you making me want to go? What, do you, what is the Mavs one? What Mavs is his playoff Mavs career high? What is Moody's playoff career high? I think like, it's over 20. Hell no! Yeah. It's like 13 points. I guarantee you. There's no way he has over 20 20 point play. I feel like I remember that. No. Yeah. No. You're right. Probably 15. 15. Yeah. So I mean, like he's had moments for sure. But that has to be last year. Enough experience though. In the King series, he had a lot of good moments, but I wouldn't say he had a role like a consistent role. I I think I don't. I don't see him as young because this is their third season and they had enough minutes to know or enough. Saying it's the Mavs one, right? Yeah, Mavs. I think last game. But yeah, I don't. I think they have just, enough. Just look up his career high and see who he's against. Like, look up that too. You can just Moody look. career high oh. playoffs. Uh, All right. Who's yeah, just move on to the next team. While so he's I have the Cavs. Look it up too. Cavs are two and five right now. Oh shit! Yes, uh, I'm a buy. Buying on the Cavs. They yeah, because I think they'll. I watched a lot of the Cavs actually. Uh, I think Jarrett not being there is kind of hurting them. Garland, Mobley, no Garland yeah, he came no back Garland today. Either. They all came back. Donovan is not. He handles the ball right, you know, well and stuff, and he play makes okay, but. At the end of the day, he's not a point guard. Like you want Donovan out there trying to drop buckets, and that's it. What's his playoff part. career high? Did you find it? No, oh, in the year he's talking game. about. Oh, in the year. But twenty-two minutes, sixteen minutes, and ten minutes. That's it. Bro, it auto corrected. You'll minutes. never guess what it auto corrected. Moody and Moody too. Booty and Moody is Mo- Moses Mitty. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the. They're, they're trying to tell me yeah. something. Okay, look, look up uh, um, his career high. But I'm, those I'm minutes were impactful. Is my point. Maybe. But uh, it I was, was with the points, but in game it. three of the 2023 first round against the Kings, 13. Uh, what, 13. I literally knew it. I literally knew 13. the series and the, the mount. And I don't even, I'm okay. not even a Warriors fan. So wait, who, are, has, who, who are we talking about again? On 420. Who are we on again? Cavs, sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 15 minutes, bro. It's fucking yeah, I, don't, I think minutes? that they'll improve once they get their uh, players back. I literally remember this game. I Houston think that as long as Garland is, is back playing well and distributing the ball well enough, uh, and Jarrett's there for the boards, because Mobley... He's been averaging decent boards, but he gets bullied by bigger centers. You know, if if he goes up against like and beating them, you know, obviously most center. people are gonna get cooked by Embiid. Yeah, I know, but yeah, right now he's playing center exactly. because because like, Jared's not, not there. Yeah, mode. and I know the lights was too bright for Jared back, <laughs> you know, last season, but hopefully he improves. He just, I mean, he's a big body for them at the end of the day. So what'd you say the Cavs record was? Two and five. Five. Yeah. They, well, so yeah, four, you got it. Uh, well, you got to buy. Yeah, it. They lost today. Yeah, but I think that's with the loss today. Is it? No, nah, they weren't updated when I saw Stan because the Warriors are still four and one, and they're five and one. One, two. Let me see. Three, four, five, six. What was their first game of the season? Pacers. <laughs> yeah. No. Was it Wizards? It was. Uh, was it? Th- it says the Magic, doesn't it? On top of it. No, it was the Nets. Nets. So, one. Win. The Pacers played the Wizards, I think, first game. Oh, yeah. One win. Well, either way, I think the, I'm going to buy on the Cavs, too. Yeah. They're missing key pieces like Jared Allen and uh, Darius Garland. Is the no, yeah, they're two and four. They're two and two four. Two and four? Yeah. Okay. I think it is up there. They still should be better, regardless. Yeah, yeah I'm going to go buy. Uh, I've watched a lot of the Cavs games. Dude, they've, they've missed at least one of their players in every single game. Jared Allen wasn't there to start the year. Darius Garland hurt, hurt his hamstring in game one. Donovan Mitchell has already missed a few games. So, it's, I think... Not this game. The game previous, their best. It was Evan Mobley and Karis Levert as their two best players. So, mm-hmm. yeah, you're not gonna win a lot of games like that. Um, so I, it's hard to evaluate them. What I saw today, it's still hard to evaluate because like it's their first game back. I did like what I see. I think a big issue they have for them is spacing. Um, it's hard to run Mobley and Allen at the same time. They're gonna. I think they're gonna have to make a decision where they trade one of them because, you know, if you're if you're running on offense. You're kind of trying to space the floor for Donovan Mitchell and Darius Garland. Or if you're trying to run pick and roll, you don't want the paint jam-packed. Yeah. And if you got Allen and Mobley, there's a lot of times where it's like, you they're not going to stand at the three-point line. Like That's not their role. That's not what they do. Mm. So it's just very compact when they're both in the game together. And today, they had to sub out Allen at times to put in Levert. Or they had to sub out Mobley to put in Struess to kind of get more spacing. And that was their big problem in the playoffs last year. Like, they signed... 
Niang. They signed Struess. They signed these guys. They're hoping they drafted a Coral because they need shooting. And although, you know, it's getting better with these players, they've been playing well. Max Struess has had some good games. So has Levert. They've been shooting a lot better. A Coral's shooting a lot better this year. But the spacing is still an issue with Allen and Mobley on the court. So, you know, I, I'm going to buy them because I don't think, you know, the injuries have hobbled them to the point where they're a, a negative team, and I don't think they're that. But I'm still concerned long-term with the spacing. I really feel like they got to trade Jared Allen because I think Mobley got to be your full-time center. But they, they still need another big to come off the bench because when Mobley or when Allen wasn't playing and it was just Mobley, and, you know, like like Omari was saying, he's getting bullied by the bigger dudes. Like, it's tough because starting both of them is bad, but, like, you can't just have Mobley. You kind of need, like, a bench dude that can come in and is okay with, like, just having a, a role and not necessarily being a starter. I think that's what you need. I, I don't know if Jared Allen's ever going to accept that. So no. You need yeah. Hardenstein uh, for that. Know. Yeah, but I, I just don't think starting both of them is good. E- either one of them is going to have to be okay getting benched at the end of games or they're going to have to make a trade. Yeah, I agree with you um, of them trading someone, but I, I think if, think of it from a guard's perspective. I think having two short guards on the team, is never going to be very successful That also for sucks because you, you need them to in the paint for defensive purposes, but because on the offensive end, it's easy. tough. So. Yeah, so I think they're – I'm buying on them as well. I think missing those key pieces is uh, big for them. They're, I think they're just going to finish the same way or the same as they did last year yeah. and get probably first or second rounder because of the uh, Jared Allen and Evan Mobley and the two guard situation. You can't have Donovan Mitchell mm-hmm. and Darius Garland. Two short guards guarding these and then bigger three dudes. Three Struess or Levert. Like, <laughs> yeah, and the dude, league keeps just, getting bigger. Like exactly, the guards keep like, getting bigger. You can't have both of them. Like obviously Luca's not yeah. in their division, but for example, yeah. playing They're, against Luca, like none of them can yeah. guard him. Like the, the, gonna get destroyed. The problem is also like again with the bench. I said they don't have like backup options to go to. Like the Lakers have so many depth pieces. Like you can throw in. Uh, a big lineup with Wood, Hayes, and AD. You can throw in multiple guards. Yeah. De- Darvin Ham loves to do that. So, <laughs> but they have <laughs> options. Like they have different like exactly. lineups they can play. The Cavs don't have that. They, there's not like you can throw in Yang there, but he's there's all he's yeah, he's limited. Awful uh, defensively. He's literally like uh, just a corner. Three a, a dad <laughs> out there playing ball. Like <laughs> yeah. bro, got dad bod he's shooting built, quarter threes. Yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, that team is they'll be good for the regular season yeah. because of how good Donovan Mitchell is and how uh they're how good off just off skill they'll be good enough. But once the first round hits and then you can really break them down and have schemes for them and, and beat them, it's easy. Like, that way it's easier. Like you can bully ball them too. I think the Knicks would be able to be a good example as to <laughs> beat them too. Like yeah. Again. yeah, if they were to meet the Knicks again, I think it would be the same deal. Yeah, facts. Yeah. At, at least presently uh constructed. Right. Who you got? In my opinion, I'm selling the Cavs. I think if if your hopes at two and four, if your hopes are if your hopes are getting to the playoffs or getting first rounder, that's a sell for me. (laughs) Because if you're not gonna make any season though, let me let me say what I'm saying. Then because if you're not gonna make changes to the roster construction based on your two guards and then Mobley and Allen Allen situation, you guys are saying they don't have the depth they need when they need to make adjustments. Donovan Mitchell's your best. This is just for the playoffs though, like, and also for the regular season, bro. If if like if these guys are playing the way they are, and let's say these. Jared Allen's injured one day. Mobley doesn't play. Donovan Mitchell. Garland has some issues. He had issues last year, too, where he was missing regular season time. Yeah, he's giving me Brandon Ingram vibes. Where he's and like, it's like, it's oh like, why don't even, don't even it's even like you're like out and, like, we need you to play. And also, when he plays, you have two short guards that don't play defense. That if Garland doesn't give you... They try, though. They just can't. Dude, like, in my opinion, the way <laughs> I see Garland... They definitely give effort, yeah. though. Yeah. They give effort, but in my opinion, if Garland's not giving him, like, his playmaking side, like, to the max, like, he's dishing out 10 assists, I think he's useless to me. Not That's not crazy. in the way he that like he's not a body, yeah, like, but it's like I think he needs like twenty points. He needs to get it's his. Like, t- he needs to do that. He can shoot it's like really Trae well. Young. Like if Trey Young doesn't do what he does, uh, do I get what you mean. That way, yeah, where yeah, if, like, if he doesn't give me ten, if he doesn't give me ten assists at least on that team, I mean, yeah, you're hitting your shots a little bit. If you yeah, get like eleven he, points, he it's played like, poorly today, but he's coming off. He's had poor games a lot of times that I that I can remember like poor games. I'm not too worried about him. It's just like. Him as a collective with the rest of the team, they just fit awkwardly. I don't oh, like the, the lineup. Whole team is I, that's why I'm explaining. I'm explaining like, the lineup. I don't like. I don't like these two guards. I don't like Mobley and Allen's. Like they situation. have two really yeah. short two Doesn't guards, work. two really tall bigs that can't space the floor, <laughs> yeah. and a three that's basically a two. It's like terrible. it yeah. doesn't make sense to me. That's one of the reasons why I'm selling too. Because if they keep it like this, they, and if you're saying they they get third or fourth seed, and I'm saying they get like seventh or eighth, whatever, whatever happens, because the East is pretty stacked too. You got the Bucks, Celtics, even the Sixers are winning games. Like Pacers. you know what I'm saying? Pacers, Pacers. two are winning games. They're beating the Cavs. Like yes, Donovan Mitchell's a suit. Like he's they beat still them star. twice already. I'm pretty sure. Donovan Mitchell's still the star. We know he's a dog. He'll get you like 30 any night. But if that's all there is, I'm selling. I'm not. I'm not invested on this team yet. And I get what you're saying for the regular season, but I'm thinking about as a whole. And to like add on to your Garland point, I feel like he needs to be for him to succeed in the league long term. I feel like he needs to be a pace guy. He controls the pace like at a very high level, like a Chris Ball type of guy, and make sure that. 
he knows everything that's happening on the court and to get people, players involved at a high level. That's the only way I, I can feel him. I think he can I be fully that agree with that. that. Yeah, I, I think he yeah. can too, but that's not on this team. Maybe somewhere yeah. else, or if they want to build around him. Yeah, if they trade Mitch, yeah. Mitch, yeah. Like, I feel like these guys can all be great on different teams, not constructing. Like, if yeah. Garland, you know, you know who uh, I Mitchell like might be them? out of there too. Yeah, I you know, so I, I like Dejounte Murray on this team. I think he felt fit really well with a guy like Darius Garland. And like Mitch on on uh, the the Hawks. I don't know necessarily just that. a I'm team just, where Mitchell and uh, Dejounte are involved. Right? I don't know because if you throw Mitch to the Hawks, it's more, the same shit. Basically. Yeah, it's probably. Like, I don't know. More no. scoring, a new team, a new team with yeah, that. But, but the rest of the roster is a little more fit together around that because then you got Capella, you got more. Sh- you got stretchability with Sadiq Bay and Jalen Johnson yeah. and and, De- and DeAndre Hunter, bigger wings, so it fits better. So it'll be a better fit. But I just like the concept of a, 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 a defensive minded two guard that can also score. Like that's what they really need. They're they're, you know, they they try to fix the shooting. And they, they need wing defenders really. Like a Coro's good, but he's kind <laughs> of undersized. You. Bless you. He's undersized. Like he's more of a two to me. When you see him on the court, like he doesn't stick out like this big wing, Mikel Bridges, OG Ananobi. He looks more okay. to be the size of like. A uh, 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 Donovan Mitchell, like he's six yeah. three. Like if they replace, in my opinion, what I would like this team to have more. If I was the Cavs, if they got Drew to put there too, that would fix a lot of problems that I see in that in their flaw. Donovan could go crazy on offense, and he can facilitate. And Drew could also facilitate. Yeah, it's not happening. And he plays yeah. defense. Mm-hmm. He's the type of guy where you can just put him on any team. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just saying like that. Who or OG, like you said, or yeah, yeah. The, DeJounte, you said Mikael Bridges, Dejounte Murray. Yeah. These guys that would help take the defensive load off for sure. We'll have Meanwhile, not like bigger, messing up the offense. Bigger players, too. And just bigger. like bigger. Yeah, they, bigger dudes. Like, pause. But, you know, but. Hey, what are you going to say, Maury? You got it. <laughs> oh, got oh, oh Bro, but. Um, train of thought after we said big. Oh, truthfully, I did forget that I had him, like, fourth. Like, I don't. I wouldn't necessarily change my buy because I think that would be better. But it, I, it, it will be a tall task to get to fourth, considering yeah. who else, you know, like, how the teams in the East are looking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But. I do think that um, when it comes to the point about Dejounte, I think Dejounte is. I know he said like uh, a two uh, like defensive minded two guard, but he's he could also play point guard. Like when he was point guard on the Spurs, I know that they, they stunk, but he's, he's capable of. Yeah, he's yeah. capable of of averaging twenty. He's averaging you know capable yeah. of averaging ten assists. Yeah, he's capable of getting his triple doubles. I think that right now in the past recent years, we've seen his uh, his stats a little capped because he's playing next to Trey Young. Yeah. But I think as a lead guard, or at least as the main point guard, he could do some real damage with somebody like uh, Donovan Mitchell, and it'll take the load off of Donovan Mitchell. I think that this backcourt with the Cavs is reminiscent of just Damon and CJ. You know, you can't really do – I mean, I, I think Garland's a better playmaker than both of them, but at the end of the day, those small guard, these small guard lineups in the NBA right now are like a dying breed. Yeah. Like, yeah. nothing's – they're you can't not have gonna, two of them. Like, yeah, they're not gonna be. Uh, and if you do have, they're two not viable of them, anymore. If you have two of them, you need like a lot of spacing and a lot of defense. And I don't think they have like a, a yeah. They a, would a need good like, combination. They would need like Porzingis or something. Yeah, you know, like to stress the floor and a, and a wing, like like you said, like OG. Yeah, yeah. but all right, that was it. That was all no more teams. Uh, yeah, Shaq in the full for Gabe. Right. One more team I want to talk about though. All right. Uh, interesting because they've, they've been pulled right. They just had a huge win against the number one, the, the defending champs, the Minnesota Timberwolves. I want to talk about them because they're the, the, some of the games this season, they looked awful. The Gobert experiment, bad, but they just beat the Nuggets. Like, I don't really know how to feel about them. I'm wondering what you guys think about Timberwolves. Maybe more of a game sample size because we can see what – we've seen flashes of what they can be and we've seen flashes of what they are. <laughs> yeah, like, like so what they could be. They yeah. got to find consistency, in my opinion. Exactly. Like, like – if they find a groove where it works, Edwards, Cat, all these guys click, and they find that rhythm, and they can go on a good run. Because I predicted this team to be a top eight seed, and even in the West, that's hard. Like getting top eight is like hard nowadays. So I can see that happening, but they have to click, bro. If they keep like having like these stretches where the Gobert shit doesn't work, or Cat like his ass. I mean, Edwards. I don't. I think Edwards will be fine the whole season. I I'm think. Not worry about him. <laughs> I think yeah, I would no sell them. <laughs> I, I would sell them. I think mm. it's a lot of. The, the biggest thing for me is Cat. He has, he's too good to be having like low IQ Michael Porter Jr. type play. Like, <laughs> that's who he is. At, I'm pretty sure. Like, and that's and you, what he does. You might be right, but it's like he it really wants to be more. He wants to be more than he is. Is he really? If, if you want the team right. to be successful, he can't do that. Like he can't have those type of plays as your second best player. And on top of that, Rudy Gobert is such a negative on offense. It's you. You can't. You can't have no nothing from Rudy plus Cat. 
like giving you some dumb plays. And Anthony Edwards, you know, you know, he's the guy and all that. But let's not act like he's flawless and never makes yeah. mistakes yeah. or anything <laughs> like that. So it's like you got to everyone's got to be on a string and perfect for this team to win. And some matchups they're probably better suited for when you got two bigs against Jokic, like Cat and Rudy. It's probably a good matchup for them. But yeah. you know. It's it's also going to be detriment against certain teams. So it, they're just really polarizing to me. I don't know how to feel about them this year. Like I think it, like, all, it is all dependent on what Cat does. And he reminds me of uh, what Harden said. I'm not as I'm not a system or I'm a system, not a system <laughs> player. Cat needs to be a system player for, in order for them to win. Yeah. Like, he needs to figure out a role and not try to be do everything. He literally yeah. tries to do everything. He, he, you were the first pick, but you, bro, you got to give it up, man. Yeah, like I, I think I said this it's gonna uh, be hard, last though. week about him. Thinking he's still the number one and not actually giving up the ball to Edwards. I see it now. Edwards I see what being you're the saying, one. Yeah. Like he still thinks he can do everything on the court and still be the best player on the floor. Like, no, you got to give Edwards <laughs> the ball in order to elevate everybody to um, be better. And that's how you're going to win games. That, and yeah. essentially, you see that some games and then some games you don't. That's, Weird, what, that's, why. that's what I think. Besides the defense, obviously, that's what separates. You know, he was, he was talked about in the same vein as guys like Anthony Davis and be like one of the yeah. top big yeah. men eventually. But that's what separates him, what you said. Like, him, him thinking, you know, he could do more than he can and not really playing within the team. Like, I think Anthony Davis does that to too much of a degree where he gets passive and stuff because he wants the team to function as a team and play together. But yeah. Cat's like the exact opposite where he's like, fuck it, I'm, I'm going to do me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, exactly. get out the way. So, yeah, it, like, I see what you're saying for sure. We, when you just talk about Jokic and, oh, the Nuggets having everybody playing their role system, like role perfectly and everybody knowing what they need to do. It's like this team's the opposite. Like, they're still trying to figure out what they want to do. And that's not – you're not going to win games doing that. Like, the year that they were successful with Patrick Beverly, like, he knew – like, the good Vanderbilt, thing about Patrick – Vanderbilt, yeah, yeah Vanderbilt, all those guys. They all knew their roles. Like, Patrick Beverly, like, say what you want to say about him. He knows, like, how to put people in better positions to understand what they're supposed to do to have a longer career in the NBA. Like, look, that year, Cat was the one. Everybody knew Cat was the one. And Anthony Edwards is still growing as a player. And he knew he was still growing as a player. And everybody knew their role. D'Lo being the facilitator that he was. That's why they were winning games. Now people don't know what they're supposed to do, and then Mike Conley is the only player that knows what he's yeah, doing. Like, <laughs> like, literally, you know where you're like, from Mike Conley, and like, that's what he is. Like most consistent thing ever. Like exactly, <laughs> like, that's what he, he'll do. But them training for Gobert makes everything even more of a mystery. Like, how yeah. are we supposed to make this work? Who does what? And they can't what even get we, better. Like, yeah, exactly. So. And we're always back to the Gobert trade, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's what it revolves that's their on. Well, this NBA oh, revol- like, what is, the, what is the this NBA do for revolves you on that to Gobert trade? Cat, Cat might be on the trade block soon. Like, we, we, I mean, we haven't touched upon this at all, really. But mm. we, we probably will when the season, you know, when the teams kind of start to settle into their standings. But teams like the Bulls and, you know, some, some of these other teams are star players. They're yeah. going to have to pick a direction soon because – they're going to be in limbo, and with how talented the NBA is, especially the West, some of these teams are not making the playoffs. Like we said, we talked about, we listed the 10 teams and or 11 teams that are really good this year, and one of them was not going to make the playoffs. Yeah. We had mm-hmm. the Mavericks missing it, and well, obviously it's probably going to be the Grizzlies at this rate, but still, like, there, some of these teams are going to have to do something. They can't just, oh, we're just going to be bad and be cool with yeah. it. Like, you're going to have to make moves. It's going to be pretty epic for this year, I yeah. say. I, I, I think it's going to be eventful. I mean, we'll see. At least the Bulls know that they – know what's up like they know it's the happen. freaking timberwolves don't know like, yeah. they have no clue of anything that's going on they don't know they're fucking they don't know they're, 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 they're playing they don't have the slightest clue yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like the bulls like they know there's pressure they know one of them is going to get traded like okay we have to act up having team meetings game one like the timberwolves are just out there playing basketball yeah. but the like, la fitness hoopers at this yeah. point yeah. they're just going yeah. to the gym and hooping ah, they're, man, they're a better the Houston coach Rockets. too there's questions about chris finch if he's even a good coach yeah like, i don't know nobody you knows know, they remind me of the rockets of last year just better like they're just out there hooping yeah exactly we win we win yeah. <laughs> it's crazy that's yeah. sad though yeah. man it's good like, yeah. good good nba years for good players are gonna go to waste because it seems what the fuck they want to do i'd sell as well by the way i'd sell all them okay that's what i wanted to know it's just Man, so I'm always <laughs> always so <always> rooted <laughs> teams. Yeah, and if you know where go there, Cat needs to know that he's the two and give everything to Edwards yeah. at this point because that's the tra- trajectory. Bro, of the doing team. like one legged like mid range <laughs> step backs. Like they bro. should have known this from the last the Dunkin series playoffs. Edwards was dogging on him, bro. Edwards averaging like the thirty. Thing, Cat missed so system, many games last year. I know. Like, that's why it's he like it's like, like dude, okay, like I'll make this team better than what it was because I. You can there. help with yeah. the team. Cat helps with the team, but he's got to like, know. Like you said with the Rockets, like they didn't have a system. I don't know if the the Timberwolves have a system either. Yeah, exactly. Like who are they? We don't I don't know, know what their identity. They're not a fast-paced team. They're not a half-court team. They're not a three-point shooting they're team. Just yeah, they're, like they're not an inside shooting team. Like the franchise formerly known as Kevin Garnett. Like you said, all we, like, know, <laughs> Mike, Mike, we know who Mike Conley is. Like 
We know what he does like, okay. night in and night out. That's yeah. only yeah, thing yeah, I know. know. I know he's player. And Gobert, you know what Gobert does. No, we don't. <laughs> Not on this team. Like, yeah. he doesn't even know what he's doing out yeah. there. Like, at least on the Jazz, he knew what block, rebound, and like, give it to yeah. Donovan Mitchell. They're like, literally. <laughs> like, now it's like, what am I doing? No, now it's like, don't be a zero on offense, but do, we don't want you to touch the ball too much. Like, now he's bro, practicing what? shooting threes. <laughs> you don't know what he's doing. Hey, he's got to level up. If you know nah, he got he to watch the Wimby tape. Yeah. Huh? He got he to gotta learn from Wimby. Like, oh, man, I'm about to be out the league next bro, year. Bro, if I see so Gobert take a three in a game this year, right, that's the sign. I need him to do some crossovers and shit. Man, oh, triple man. tween tween, point guard go bear. Nah, he gotta he gotta yeah, just he gotta go train with Wemby. Yeah, we'll it's really crazy that it, it's yeah, we'll really crazy that Wemby's that height and is that smooth. It's it's yeah, actually insane. Yeah. He's bull bull, dude. We've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> We've bull seen bull him before. It's bull bull, but more consistent. We didn't talk about that, but that was an atrocious take. I'm sorry, yeah. Shaq. Respect. You're one of the greatest of all time, but you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, brother. Man, he's. I think he's just doing it for entertainment value, but. The right. inside the NBA definitely a lot of entertainment on there. <laughs> <laughs> Is yeah, the man right. retarded? Shaq, this one's for you, buddy. I love you, you know. <laughs> but damn, bro, that's kind of crazy. This Might have to you, tweet buddy. that. Uh, go back and find that that's quote. That's crazy. Right. We can right. have a uh, do it. Who you play for? For yeah, let's wrap it up on now. Let's end it on now. Bro, what's the over under? One point five, two point five. What do you gonna get? I think what's the time we're gonna get one. I think you'll get one. Okay. Yes. What? What's the time? Like the uh, run time. Of the pod, we're at two yeah. hours. Jeez, all right, yeah. only... This will take like five minutes max. All right, we're all right. good. Who we're we play finish for? Finish off on this. Who we play for? Right, you want to sit in the middle or just do it from here? No, no, do, it do it from here. here. Do it from here. It's cl- just it's, announce it's that. Announce what you're gonna do if you just stay, yeah. Announce okay, what you're yeah. gonna you don't do. Have to stand up, but these. So we can clip it up and ship it. So uh, this is an idea inspired by NBA on TNT. <laughs> we uh, got the who we play for for Gabe right here. We're gonna use all the same players that they used on the show this past week. And we're going to see if Gabe knows more players than Charles Martin. How many players are there? Four. Four uh, or five? One, two, five. Uh, guess five. how many I'm going to get right Four now. Five. Yeah, you can guess. All right. So the first player that was on the list, we're going to go word for word, bar for bar. <laughs> Rashawn Holmes. Who does he play for? <laughs> oh, wait. I think I know this one. Hold on. Hold on. You should. He played. Uh, he moved teams. Moved teams. Yeah. I, th- I was thinking about this. I think it's. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. I don't have a time limit, right? No. <laughs> but don't take forever. Okay, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's the the Mavericks. I'm pretty sure it's the Mavericks. Let's go. I didn't think you'll get that one. <laughs> I remember why? seeing Why do you think about, it's the Mavericks? I remember. I don't know why, but either it was like a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I remember why? I saw something no, about like Rashawn right. Holmes going. I'm like, oh, good. A big, kind of big man, but whatever. Why, why do you think he's, he's like mid. Yeah, yeah right. he's good for him, good, but mid <laughs> though, right? All right. Next player. Analyze the pickup. <laughs> Joe Ingles. Oh, Jingles? Bro, he, we played against him the other day. Uh, the Magic. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. I, I, I was going to say, I, if I didn't know, if I didn't see him playing in, against That's us, I would have not have known On that. God, what Bez just said. If I didn't see him, because the, the play I saw him on was, I thought he almost fouled LeBron. Bro, slow shit. And I'm like, bro, <laughs> bro, he almost fouled LeBron. And I was like, look, I'm like, that's Joe fucking Ingles. He doesn't look normal. <laughs> he Dude, out. he so doesn't. Weird. It's so weird. I didn't know who the fuck he was. All right, two for two. Let's go. More than we thought you would get. That's good. That's yeah. Uh, this over one, hit. I think you'll get. This was the one I thought you were going to get. Yeah. Lonnie Walker. Oh, the Nets. Yeah. Got that. Yeah, I know he went there. Oh, bro, you might three? go five for five. five for <laughs> no, you're not getting this last one. No, <laughs> no, no, yeah. fuck. no way. All right. Number four, Tory Craig. You may okay, know this one. He, he started today. He started. Fuck. Wait, today. today. Yeah, that, that should that That's should clues. that should narrow yeah, it down clue. a little bit. Yeah. Okay. He's on the Lakers. He was on <laughs> Okay, I remember his last time in a jersey was on the Suns jersey. If that's yeah, either that's incorrect or wrong, that's his last but he's team. not there anymore. He that started today, so I have a one in fourteen chance of getting this right. <laughs> 15, oh yeah, fourteen. Yeah, one in fourteen chance. Tory Cle- Craig. Craig. <laughs> Warriors. <laughs> I I don't know. I'm gonna shoot a shot in the dark. He Go plays ahead. for. If you get this off a of guess, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> he plays for the Pacers. No. no. He used Good to. guess. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I thought of that too, but TV fuck. plays for is the Chicago Bulls. Bulls. Oh my. Yeah. Start over Patrick Williams today because Patrick Williams is about to be a Walmart employee. He's, a, yeah. he's averaging four points this year. Yeah, he's shooting 12%. <laughs> That's crazy. On right. like 12% yeah, three. Actually, bro. Is insane. 12% is three is crazy. This guy was drafted fourth overall, by the way. That's so crazy. <laughs> well, the team compared, like, comp is pretty bad. Lori, he played good his first year. The second year, it was like out of nowhere. Let's see if he goes somewhere right? and he puts popping yeah, off. So. Damn, I got that I, one. I don't wrong. think so fuck. because, like, there's, there's a lot of times where he just, so, like, yeah. he's wide open. Yeah. <laughs> he misses shots. Uh, bro, you're going to say some crazy ass name right now, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, this one is pretty hard. Garrett Temple. Temple. I've heard of his name for sure. Yeah. You know, do you know I didn't who even he think, is? I didn't even know he's in. I thought he can retired. You, do, can you let me know a hint? Because uh, it's actually kind of hard. If East. I give you a hint, you'll get it. Okay, Eastern. Yeah, right? Eastern Conference. Okay, Eastern Conference. That's that. Did he there's, play today? There's it down halfway. No. I doubt. No more clues, man. No? No. 
Damn, that's like he might not. He's even narrowed if it down. He, even if his team plays, Cavs. he might not play. True, true. Pacers he played, played Cavs minutes, played, Bulls <laughs> played. Uh, fuck, who else played today? Eastern Conference. He's not gonna play. I'm assuming he's a backup somewhere for the Celtics. No, he's not in the Celtics. Fuck. It's not a bad guess, honestly. Yeah. I would have probably said he is that. on the wah, Toronto wah, Raptors. Wah. I was going to say he doesn't play in the ah. States. <laughs> that oh, that would have been right, way right, too yeah. obvious. <laughs> Damn so, it. I, got... I didn't even know. I thought he retired. I swear to God. But you got three out of five. Years. So That's you good. beat good Chuck. Shit. I like that. All right, let's yeah, go. Nice. Chuck the Rashawn one fucked me over the most. The other two were easier. Yeah, Chuck got one out of five and it was a Lonnie Walker one. So He got Lonnie Walker? That's it? Yeah. I would have probably only got Lonnie Walker, honestly. I, I would have got Ingles too because yeah, I Ingles. saw him playing against yeah. the Lakers. That's and the time I noticed him, bro. It's crazy. Rashawn, I got Rashawn just because he got traded this offseason. That's, that's what right. I remember. I remember the trade. Good that's job, Gabe. Good job. Fill her in for Isaac today. If that's a lesson to anybody watching this, don't watch NBA on TNT. Watch Ball Don't Lie. <laughs> there you go. Right. <laughs> and we're going to end it we're on better. that. The Drop takes. a like uh, if you enjoyed. You let us know anything in the comments from NBA to NFL, your picks, whatever. Yes. Um, yeah, just uh, interact. Saw we need that. we need the com- <laughs> we need the comments up on the video. We like interacting. We see the comments on the shorts, but we need some on the full length podcast and the and the clips too. But we need some on the full length podcast. Yes, so sir. drop some on there. Um, on the way up. Yeah, and uh, hopefully we get to a thousand subs. We've been kind of stagnating, but we gotta we gotta get on the grind again with this yeah. NBA season. Um, are anyway, we 5K on TikTok. Yes. Told me. Yeah, clips oh, yeah. are on the way, bro. We're gonna roll them out. Yeah, I'm, clips I'm, are I'm, on the I'm way. Grind clips this week too. I'm grinding clips too. Especially this pod. I've been starting to get on the grind. Yeah. So thanks for tuning in. Love y'all, and we'll see y'all on the next episode. Peace. 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 Peace.